Hey guys, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another live session of Stock Sniper Trading. Hope everyone's having a really good morning so far. Um, we're coming off a really good night with the first day of our boot camp. Um, Ron is absolutely killing it, guys. So um, for all the members, like I said, you guys got extreme value of the candlestick characteristics. And then obviously we, he broke down into some live trading. So shout out to Ron for doing that. Uh, guys, we did a 6 to 11. So a huge long session and uh, it was very informative. So shout out to uh, Ron for doing that and shout out to all the members for joining us. It's, uh, it was really informative. So just wanted to say thank you guys. Um, but before we do anything, guys, obviously just in the chat box, I wanted to give a shout out to all the people that are commenting and subscribing right away. You guys are awesome. As soon as we go live, there's about 50 to 60 people on there, so that's huge. Um, and guys, just one thing, obviously, in the, in the description, um, we're not financial advisors, okay, so any trade is taken upon yourself. Please understand proper risk management. If you don't know what that is, obviously, you consult with an advisor. We're just providing free technical and fundamental analysis. Um, guys, and just to be transparent, like uh, the charting that we do, um, it might not always hit, right? So you guys just got to understand that certain risk and make sure to trade with lower lot sizes because um, yeah, some people, if they just uh, learned that, I think they'd be a lot more uh, effective with uh, with their trading. So guys, but with that being said, obviously you can see have gold on the daily right now. So we're going to do a top down analysis on gold. And then I'll jump over to GBPUSD because I know a lot of people like that. But uh, what I have right now, um, there's about 170 people on here, so thank you. Would you guys want me to chart GBPUSD or gold first? What are you guys' thoughts? What do you guys want me to do? You guys just let me know in the chat and then I'll start right away. We can see that gold on the daily is making a nice high. It found a little bit of a bottom here from yesterday and now it's currently trading at 1793. All right, so let's uh, let's keep that in mind. Let's check out GBPUSD. You can see this is from yesterday. Obviously, we had a nice little double top forming out of supply, and then we had a nice little sell off here. All right, so okay, GBP Gold. G All right, guys. So you know what? Let's chart uh, GBPUSD first. All right, we'll change it up a little bit. You can see it's very bearish here. Um, and then we'll work at um, charting gold right after. Okay, so it'll get take about 10, maybe 10, 15 minutes to chart both. So just keep in mind a little bit of patience here. It's 640 right now. All right, so I started the stream a little bit earlier so we can maybe catch a 7 a.m. move. Um, we can watch GBPUSD, obviously, but gold is going to have a nice little move at 7 as well. So we got to keep that in mind. So guys, when we're approaching previous structure, which is support, this is going to be daily demand. All right, so you can see clear as day that price has made a three bar play here and then consolidated, which is sideways trading. You can see because of that nine EMA. All right, and then you had the continuation with that moving average. The next trend started because of this candle right here, which is a bullish engulfing candlestick. All right, so that is a, uh, a reversal pattern, but also a continuation pattern based out of uh, the actual sideways trading, ranging and consolidation movement, whichever way you like to call it. You can see clear as day high ignited candle, a lot of volume being pumped up to have a nice little move. Breaking through the 200 EMA, having a double top, a little bit of potential divergence. Nope, there's none here on the daily. So that would be maybe on a little lower time frame. But you can see now we curled off, broke below the 50 line, and now we're starting to make our way down on GBPUSD. All right. So, and guys, just keep in mind, everyone has different ways of charting, right? So if my charting is different from yours, you know, um, my numbers and the areas might be a little bit off simply because we're actually using TradingView. All right. So just keep that in mind as well. All right. So you can see clear as day. I want to actually remove the nine EMA. And uh, that way it's a little bit easier to chart, a little less on the chart when you're doing your, um, your analysis. So remember, I like to use white or pearl, as you can say, for uh, basically higher time frame support and resistance. And uh, once we get under hourly, all right, we're going to uh, use baby blue. All right, bearish engulfing candlestick. All right, completely engulfs these previous candles right here, leading into the breaking of the 200, which is a continuation of this downtrend. All right. So from the daily, let's actually mark this right here so you guys can see. We'll go demand on the daily. All right. Perfect. And then let's drop it now down to the four hour. All right. 
So you can see that we're still in a nice little trend, still having nice selling pressure, more ignited candles starting to fall. But uh, now we're coming into the area where it had a double bottom here, right, followed by this bullish engulfing candlestick, which led to that trend we talked about on the daily, all right? Give me one second, guys. Let me just play my music here. All right, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so make sure you tighten everything up here when you're charting. Obviously, it just keeps your charts cleaner, uh, less room for error. I want to see this candle right here starting to get a little broken down so we can actually find some clear support and resistance based on about probably the hourly or the 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, we're currently you can see the price line right there. It's a little uh it's you can't it's not it's faded a bit, but you can see it's getting held up right at this previous uh it was once resistance now acting as support, starting to break. So we're clearly in this area right now, three six three one three and next area three six two three zero. All right. So if we start to break here, guys, you can see from the hourly, I was just showing you there is not much. There's a volume ignited candle here, which will break down on the 30 minute. But you can see if it starts to drop, there's a nice little zone that it can drop to on the hourly. All right. I'm gonna erase this actually, and we're gonna add in a supply zone there. Right? A lot of sellers, a lot of resistance in that area. You can see that buyers have tried to push up, rejected more engulfing candlesticks, tried to reverse, getting resistance here. So we know that this is a clear area where there's a lot of sellers actually forming. Uh, they could have um, basically pending orders there, you know, so uh, we just got to keep that in mind as well. So that's why I decided to put one of those zones there. I would have put one down here, but you can see we're starting to break. I want to see what the overall structure is going to do in terms of it's going to continue or uh, actually have a reversal type pattern. All right. <clears throat> so let's just see the zone from here to here. Okay, but a 12 pip zone. Perfect. Okay. All right. So where we're currently trading right now, finding some nice little support. I'm going to put this as a neutral zone just for now because this has the opportunity to continue break and then have the overall continuous trend as it's starting to do currently you can see on the rsi that uh we are making some on rsi you can see its price is starting to make its way up but on actual price you can see it's starting to go down all right so at what point are we going to maybe get a bounce on gbp usd in terms of divergence Okay, so that's why I try to, I, I trap that there, put it as neutral because it might not be right now, but eventually we can wait and see if this is going to start to form maybe a little bit of reversal to start to catch up and maybe test this overall supply area. All right. Okay. Okay, 30 minute time frame. And this is GBP USD, guys, if you're not familiar. Okay, just if you're just signing on now. Okay, so let's drop it now down to the 15. Go back and check to your left, guys. See, there is a few ignited candles here. All right, you can see that with the four, it, pretty much this hourly candle is broken down into four um, bullish candles, which on the uh, higher time frame was acting as an engulfing candlestick. So when you start to break down the time frames, you can actually get the candlesticks broken down looking for active support and resistance. Okay. Now you can see we have nice little areas we can work to. At least we have some support if it starts to break before getting into overall daily demand area. Okay. 
Uh, generally, like five minutes looks nice on pairs, but uh, obviously holding 15 minutes is also another very nice way to uh, look at pairs in terms of holding long term. Um, me personally, when I when I like pairs, when I trade them, it, it's on the higher time frame. Scalping is very very good, but you can get in on the lower time frame and then jump to the higher, and that will allow you to stay in trades for longer time. Okay. So you can see clear as day, 15 minute, we're still having that overall sell-off here. Price is starting to break this previous wick, so it's starting to come down and uh, retest. Or, uh, break through this candle, so it's broken through and retest the overall low, which is 36266 on the 15 minute. So it's dropping now down to the 5 minute. All right. And let's see, previous structure, what we have forming here. Okay, so just keep in mind, give me one second here. This is GBP USD now on the five minute. All right, you can see we have a nice gap to the downside if price starts to break. Um, this, this basically, this trap right here was done on the 30 minute, so let's tighten it up a little bit. Don't want to have it massively sitting on our chart. There we go. Yep, guys, we're going to go to gold in one second. I just wanted to chart GBP USD before making the overall move. Okay, so this is a five minute downtrend starting to form here. All right, bouncing into potential, potential uh, smaller, uh, lower time frame uh, demand area. Okay, so let's clean that up there. And then we obviously have the low roughly 36266, okay? All right, so let's leave this for now. Let's go back and chart gold. Uh, we have about 10 minutes. So some GU key points. All right, guys, remember we talk about 10, 15 pips. Move your stop loss to break even or take profit or slash trailing stop if you hit your target. Um, uh, bearish on the daily and we're below the 200 on the daily as well. Okay, guys, so just uh, keep that in mind. Um, I always like to write some key points just to help out with the overall, um, you know, trading, what we're going to do in terms of... Uh, lower time frame okay so I just throw on the 90 MA so you can see where we're actually at on GU you can see that price made some rejection here bearish engulfing candlestick now continuously selling off we are acting below that 9 it's getting rejected every time it comes to that overall downtrend and then it's closing below that 9 um, until we started to form at the low before we decide to make our next move on GBP USD all right so that's GU all right, price needs to break. Price needs to break out of here at around wait till seven, okay? If it's gonna hold support, it's gonna break and then have your retest similar to how it did yesterday with the double bottom, okay? But it needs to hold above that nine exponential moving average too, okay? So we're hoping it'll curl, kind of retest before making its next move, okay? If it doesn't do that, then it's gonna get rejected at the overall downtrend that's forming all right so it's going to come back here get rejected start to sell off going to the overall downside all right so let's mark that red for bearish and green for bullish all right 
Okay, guys. So let's set some alarms here. Perfect. Okay. So now we can get back to gold. All right. Look at how much. Uh, look at gold right now. Okay. This is just on the five minute. I haven't traded charted anything, but you can see it's having a push pull movement right around this 200. Wait eight minute. Wait seven minutes now. Wait until that hourly can opens up and wait about 15 minutes. Okay. If you catch an overall, if you catch like say an engulfing candlestick, a, a piece of price action that you realize could have, um, you know, a, a significant impact. Make sure you understand that right before. Uh, around 7, 7.15, uh, they might have a little bit of head fake action. Remember yesterday when we had that original first sell and it came back and hit stop loss, right? The same thing could happen. So that's why it's nice to just have a little bit of patience. Watch how the hourly candle opens and then it closes before making its overall next move, okay? So this is gold on the daily. I'm going to take off the 9 exponential moving average. I still have my 200 on there, all right? Now we're looking at doing a top down on gold. Okay, guys, you can see that there is a wide area in terms of demand, uh, sorry, supply. All right, I'm using the basically the level down. <clears throat> There'd be another one up here. All right, but price seems to be closing below. These two previous candlesticks, you can see they tried to push it up, close below, and now we're pretty much hovering around that 200 EMA. All right, so obviously we didn't make it back up here and hold. It pretty much got rejected pretty around 1810. They made a high of 1813. Okay. Guys, if you, if you joined, uh, and this is talking about our webinars and stuff like that, uh, please send us an email. Uh, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. We had a, a massive influx of people who were wanting to work and join the boot camp. So uh, if we miss, don't worry about it. We'll make sure to get you in, okay? All right. Okay, so remember, this is gold on the daily. Price tried to reject, made a low of 1771, then he had a nice little push wick, all right? Price then opened, retested, and then you're starting to walk up. You're getting a, a, a decent amount of volume in here, but now it's starting to pierce through that 200 exponential moving average. You can see that the candle opened up. Now it's kind of forming a little bit of indecision right now before having its overall next move, okay? So I don't, I don't need to put demand and supply chart labels in here anymore. Hopefully you guys can understand by watching the channel that red zones are usually supply unless marked otherwise. Um, green zones are demand. And then if I put it white, it's pretty much a neutral zone. Uh, whether that's a thing or just my thing, that's how I like to do it. Um, People might do it differently, so just remember, all charting is done specifically to the actual trader itself, okay? What are you guys' thoughts on gold? Do you guys think gold is going to be bullish or bearish? What do you guys think? Okay, guys, let me know in the chat what you guys think. Let me know what you think about gold, okay? And also, while, you, while, you're, while you're chatting there, what do you guys think is, um, uh, what are your spreads on gold right now? All right, that's very important to understand when you're trading.
Sorry guys, just trying to get everything done. Okay guys, so a lot of people are saying bull bear. Um, if you're not familiar with spreads guys, keep in mind that um, it's really important for you to know about these when you're trading. A lot of people have thankfully and nicely dropped their their uh, spreads. So just make sure you understand in terms of gold in terms of spreads. Okay, so about two minutes until we have the next candle starting to form here, which will be the hourly candle open. Okay. All right, so four hour now down to the hourly. Tighten everything up here. You can see right now on the hourly, gold pushed, found some demand, some supply, which would be buyers, okay? And now retrace back up, came back into selling pressure, and now it's retracing, coming back down, trying to retest the buying area, but you're seeing a lot of bottom wick. So the buyers are already staying there, okay? So there's no real news today either, guys. So let's wait and see and see how everything plays out. Um, you could get some erratic movement, so that's why I mean use uh, smaller lot sizes if you're not familiar with trading on this type of time frame. Okay. Okay, for the people signing on, this is gold down the 45 minutes, sorry. That should have been on the hourly. All right, we gather information on the hourly, and then we'll drop down to the 30 minute. My apologies about that. That was my mistake. There we go. You can see if we draw this right across, every time it tries to come up, gets rejected, wicked down, appears resistance coming out of this daily supply. Now we're retracing, all right? Okay, so now we can drop down to 30 minute. Tighten everything up. Okay, retracing out, looking for some bounces. See how many touches this guy's got, got uh, you know, one, two, three, and then every time it's touched that 200, it starts to bounce. So you can see that they are trying to break it, but there's still a lot of support there in terms of buyers. Um, just make sure when, when you're trading this uh, around the 200, like I said, you're going to have uh, some consolidation before making its overall next moves. It is a double top, guys. You have a t one peak here, two peaks there. Okay. We didn't put RSI yet on here, so this is on the 15 minute, right? Make sure to put it on the 50. And uh, guys, if you watched the original videos when we started the stream, we never really used RSI. Okay. We just started putting it on to show you guys uh, that you know indicators can be used. And a lot of people they were requesting RSI for some reason. They they really like trading with it, so that's why we did it. We listen to the people as much as we possibly can. Okay. So. If this is a top, guys, double top, this would be the neckline area that it's actually forming in right now, okay? So we'll put it neutral because this could go bullish or bearish depending on the pop zone. All right, and this on the 15 minute, okay? Okay, 
peak, peak close lower, all right? Now massive selling pressure leading by this bearish engulfing candlestick, led by three candles, a little bit of indecision right here, but we have the continuation. Now we're making our potential next move, all right? Remember, that was on the 15 minute, okay? We still have to get through the five minute support and resistance here. So you can see clear as day, five minute, this is what 15 minute looks like, all right? A lot of bottom wicks there, so that's why you're seeing that price previously on the lower time frame. Okay, about a minute and 16 left here before the overall next big moves. All right, you can see, guys, overall neckline on the 15 minute it starts to break this area right here. We lead into hourly demand, all right? So just keep that in mind. Remember, that there's a lot of opportunities for this to still get potentially bullish momentum before making to the upside, all right? The M pattern is on the 15, all right? I should probably mark that on there just so you guys can understand. Okay, this one right here is a W pattern, okay? So it came down here, found some support, pushed, made a little lower low, all right? And then found some nice little bullish power coming out of the, near the demand. That's why you're getting that push to the upside, okay? But the M pattern that I looked for was on the 15 minute, okay? So thanks for pointing that out. Make the change just so you guys can understand that, okay? Okay, so let's watch and see. There's about seven, uh, seven seconds left for the overall move. Okay, so we can change this to baby blue, all right, which is lower time frame, support and resistance, all right. So, you can see we're starting to form a little bit of an uptrend here on the five, all right, but we're also battling that overall bearish downtrend, okay? Okay, so you see how now? Starting to form a little bit of support at this 200. Let's throw in the nine, okay? There's, a price just opened up. A first five minutes has now um, gone through. This is now 7.05 candle. All right, here's your seven, 7.05. You can see it's kind of influxing right in that uh, triangle that we have forming here, waiting for the actual breakout, okay? Hey, Mark, uh, by the way, I just looked up your profile, Mark Quang. Uh, you are you are on the site, and uh, you do have a username and password. Okay, I'm just looking this up right now. Um, you need to remember your username and password, okay? Um, but I have you registered on November 1st, okay? And uh, I have you updated, and uh, I have your Telegram username, but I sent you an email uh, you sent me your name. I sent you an email saying, I need your Telegram username. Okay, so uh, you are uploaded, my man. I just wanted to check that really quickly because I saw your, uh, your, saw your messages, okay? Okay, so two minutes and 37 seconds. All right. You can see now that price is having the continuation. Starting to of overall selling pressure. We're going to see if it's going to hold this overall five-minute trend. Okay, a little bit messy right now, all right? You can see the EMA, every time they go up and touch, they're getting rejected. So it's starting to make higher highs and higher lows. If it gets below here, guys, remember, we have an overall M pattern forming on the 15 minutes, so we could have a continuation, all right? 
But let's just give this a little bit of time. Price has opportunities to go either way if it starts to break here. Remember, we have that overall 15 minute M pattern forming. Sorry guys. See how it's spinning right in decision, right within this. It's coming to an apex right here, guys. Okay? Coming right to the end before it makes its next move. Yeah, Mark, no problem, buddy. I thought I remember your name from signing and stuff. You just have to remember your username and password, okay? <clears throat> you just have to remember that. And uh, if you want us to reset it or anything like that, let us know. There is also a forgot password there, so... Okay, one minute and 20 seconds here. Let's check out the hourly. We have some people wanting to look at the hourly. Okay, so remember it's bouncing out of hourly demand. Okay, we're getting rejected from hourly supply. So supply and demand. Okay, give me one second here. There we go. Mouse oh, has been a little finicky right now, guys. Sorry. There we go. 1795. Guys, the high roughly 1795. The low is 1790. Okay. Right around that 200. High, low within that range. So, about 50 pip range right now that we're trading within. All right. So, there's your overall outlook. Okay. This is a little bit zoomed out. If you zoom in on the 15. You can see this M pattern that we're forming here. T double touch in here, double touch in here, neckline, which is the neckline on the 15, before making potential continuation downtrend right into the hourly um, demand area. Okay, so when I have that on there, guys, that's just for that. All right. Okay, it's starting to follow this pathway right here. Okay, about four minutes left. See how it got rejected at that 200, still closing below that nine EMA. All right, the EMA is in a downtrend. You can see every time price hits it, it's getting rejected and it's starting to sell off. Trying to break this overall neckline right here, give it some time. We'll see if it's gonna have the follow through or if it's gonna pick up overall support because it has done it now twice. You know, this made a little lower low from up here, but um, price closed once previous structure rate as, uh, at around 1791.5, right? So when I put in these areas right here, it might be a little bit different from yours, all right? Just because uh, trading view can be a little bit off, but um, they are roughly within the same area, okay? All right, so let's write some key points on here. Okay, but just under three minutes before making overall you can see there's not much um, movement yet all right mentioned 715 will be probably the next time in the next obviously about three minutes before we see the overall continuation of movement over the reverse okay everyone says gold's going up gold's going down yesterday everyone said gold was selling and it just kept continuing to the upside okay so let's wait and see what's actually going to happen here Jordan Smith, I like what you're thinking, guys. I like how you trade. We have wicks on the four hour. All right. Remember, we did higher time frame. 
So when you come to the higher time frame, look, every time it comes in this hourly supply area, getting rejected. If it starts to sell, guys, all we're doing is filling this bottom wick, coming back into the demand. See how it's hovering, bouncing, kind of consolidating, sideways trading, all right? Put on your 90 MA. It's still in a trend, but you can see price now is starting to find some support, acting as like a little bit of a diving board, okay? Now trying to push it way up. So let's wait and see. Jordan, good spot though, buddy. Very good spot. Waiting for everything to come around. If bullish, it's going to come around this two, uh, this moving average before making its next move. All right. And guys, here's the news for today. All right. If you guys haven't noticed, forexfactor.com, very good uh, news outlet. Okay. It's probably one of the best ones in terms of informative. Uh, a lot of people's brokers have them on there too. So you can check out their uh, basically outlook calendar. Um, it's still good, whichever one works best for you. So just go from there. All right. So you can see 830 is Canadian news. Not much after that. All right. So we might get some indecision movement trading. We can see. Dakmal, buddy, we have tons of videos like this on our back end of our website. Okay. Basically have live webinars weekly. All right. Check it out. Stocksnipertrading.com. Okay. I'll explain what we get. All right. So look at the DXY too. It's still hovering right around that 200. Okay. So pushing, pulling, but it's being sucked back in and drawn to here. Previously, we were trading away from it. So that's why you're getting these nice moves. All right. But now, in, because there's no news, we might be, be waiting, might be consolidating for the next uh, big moves to happen. All right. So uh, let's check out GBPUSD real quick. Sorry. Okay, so GU started to break out and go in this bullish pathway right here. It didn't break here and start to sell off. So let's wait and see if it's going to hold this overall trend and start to walk to the upside or if it's going to start to get some rejection here. You can see it's starting to form a little bit of a curl. It's hovering right around that 50 mark, okay? Before making its next move. Guys, I'm going to flip over and chart US 32. I personally like trading US 30 the best. It's really the only one I, I like to trade. Um, I don't always look at trading pairs, guys. So when I do this, I'm mostly doing it for the stream. All right. But I like US 30 the best. Okay. Uh, just telling you guys this live so you guys understand. Gold as well. Gold as well. But US 30 is the one that I definitely like trading the most. Okay. And it's about four minutes left on GU. You can see it's starting to find some support right here um, in terms of moving average, but also live price. Very weak, though. There, there's not much volume being pumped in here, right? So if you got that move, I didn't put on any graph or anything like that. So if you got that move, maybe four or five pips, okay? Wait for the retest on this 200. We might have a continuation. Um, let's look on the 15-minute time frame. Okay, you can still see we broke out. Nice little bullish momentum here. Now it's just getting held up right at that 200, or sorry, that 9. Wait for a little bit of a retest down here to see if it's actually going to hold the break. And we'll see if we're going to start to have that continuation. If not, it's just going to hold here and start to fold back down and start to test this overall zone that we had right here, okay? We'll, we'll trade NASDAQ too, guys. NASDAQ had the massive move double top yesterday, which was very nice. So we'll definitely trade NASDAQ as well. All right, so here's potential retest on that nine exponential moving average. All right, so at 717, we got to wait and see if it might actually retrace here, start to make a little bit of a bounce and have a continuation to the downside, or if it starts to hold, like I said, that support and then have the continuation which will follow this pathway. All right. So here's gold. Remember, starting to form that 15 minute neckline break so short position would be right here guys all right if you're looking at, at putting any kind of stop loss you can put it at the 200 that would be following this pathway right here okay and the reason why i'm saying that is simply because of this overall neckline break that we talked about on the 15 minute 
It's now coming towards that 200. Look for the overall break to continue. Nothing is even close to being bullish right now. So let's just watch this pattern and see if we're going to get a follow through leading into some demand area. All right. Remember the trade, you're looking for a quick 5, 10, 15 pips, depending on it, looking for the overall next move. Because we are bouncing in this, we're coming into a higher time frame demand area where a lot of buyers have once previously been. Okay, M patterns are strong chart patterns, all right, that when you find them on higher time frames, they do have nice follow through for the overall continuation, all right. And remember, it's zone to zone trading, guys. Okay, so supply here, M pattern on the 15. Now we're bouncing into demand. So, guys, even if you're in this trade right now, remember, you can still look to take some partials, all right? The M pattern is starting to form. So you're roughly maybe up maybe 10 pips waiting for the continuation, okay? Last thing you want to happen is this thing to start finding some support, right? And then it starts to come, oops, sorry, one sec. It starts to come back down in this area and then have a retracement. That's the last thing you want because it is a demand area. There's a lot of pressure and there's a lot of, like I said, formation on that neckline, but that would just be the last thing you would want to happen, okay? Remember how I said gold had to break above that exponential moving average for the continuation? They didn't even come close. It kept getting rejected, kept getting rejected, rejected, all right? That's why you have the follow through with that overall M pattern 15 minute, okay? So that would have ran maybe 10 pips, okay? Nice little trade before. Now we'll watch and see if we're going to find some support or resistance here, okay? Guys, if you're in this, I suggest looking to secure some partials out of it. The only reason why I'm saying that is because we're, we're coming into a 15-minute a demand zone, okay? That's why you're getting that top wick. Um, but just always make sure, have your stop loss nice and tight uh, in terms of your account, all right? You, I have no idea what's going on with your accounts or what anything is going on. So you want to remember that you use proper risk management. That is the key to this, okay? Okay, let's check out the one hour here. Okay, remember we talked about this demand area. Price is starting to shoot back up, okay? 10 pips. Liam Tippett, good for you, buddy. Remember how I talked about, guys, 10, 15 pips, that's the key. Let's look at the 15 now, okay? So you can see now it's trying to break below that 200. Look at this, guys, okay? Came into demand. Now it's starting to retrace, starting to maybe potentially close above. We'll wait and see here. That's why I told you guys, look, to take some of those profits. You can see now they're trying to push it back up. Here's your retest candle for the overall break, right? So remember I was mentioning to you guys, the same thing kind of happened yesterday. So let's just wait and see if they're going to have the follow through. This is the retest for the potential neckline here, okay? All right, remember here's your neckline. Price tried to break down. Now you're getting that uh, retracement just because demand. And uh, the actual retracement on the five minute is just the retest of that neckline. Okay. So we're going to see if we're going to get some follow through. Guys, that's when you follow the pathways right here. Okay. You notice that I put them coming below the zone. All right, I put this on after to show you. This is the overall pathway, okay, that I'm drawing. This one, you can see it's above the moving averages. So if it's the price starts to come down here, all right, and it found some support and walked its way up, this would be the area that you could look at potential opportunities for the reversal, all right? So let's watch and see what's going to happen here. Sorry. So 
So current time is 7.22. All right, there's about 2 minutes and 25 seconds left on this current candle here. Getting a little bit of indecision. There's not much volume right now, guys. There's not much movement here. Had a nice little trade sell-off here. Looking for the overall next big play, but there is not much movement as of yet. Let's watch till 7.30. And then we'll look at maybe gathering some NASDAQ or we'll look at charting US 30, one of the two. Okay, so let's look now. Okay, so remember we talked about quick little scalp drop now coming into the overall demand. That's why you're getting these buyers starting to retest here, okay? Let's check out GBPUSD for one second. I think GU is probably starting to melt here. There you go, guys. Okay, so remember we talked about the low volume close right here. As soon as price came in here, all right, you can see the consolidation movement that it made. It's no volume, okay? Then you started to have bears come in and then you obviously overhead your massive massive retracement here okay so short-term pullback leading into making a lower low which is your continuation okay and that big candle happened at 715 so remember I talked about always the 15 minute candle all right it's really important for you guys to to watch that seven to sorry the hourly opening up to 5 10 15 so the first three candles will really help determine what the trade is actually going to be for the continuation now it can be negated and news can happen and a lot of erratic things can happen, but that's just the way that I found in terms of scalping. And it's just because we're going based off that overall 15 minute candle. Uh, Cause when you're scalping guys on five minutes, it's nice to look at the 15 minute and hourly candle. All right. So guys, I think gold is also uh, going bullish here. So remember when I told you quick in and out of the trade, let's wait and see. Remember, told you guys bouncing out of demand okay this wick is closing higher than this previous wick okay so that's why the buyers you can start to see let's check out our rsi it is still below all right it is still below and they're not making any kind of divergent plays here so this could be just a short-term pullback right before retest before making its overall next move so let's wait and see how this candle is going to start to form before we're going to have a continuation Guys, okay, if you're new to the channel, read the description. Read the description in the channel, okay? You'll get the overall picture of what we're trying to do here, all right? Okay, so here's your retracement now, bouncing out of demand. Let's see what's going to happen at this overall moving average area, okay? Let's wait and see. Could get rejected. See how it's closing pretty much in decision right now. A little bit of small body. That's almost a doji candle, right? So it's in decision waiting to make its next move. Okay, you can see it's getting some resistance here at that nine, all right? But it's a key, you see how it's a key area right here? Finding some support, some support, and the resistance is the overall top of the, the basically the trap, okay? Okay, let's check out GBPUSD real quick. Okay, so key area right here, guys, you can see clear as day, it's starting to break, it tried to. Nothing broke out for the continuation, but it's holding that nice support. All right, the overall trade, the bottom wick was this previous candle that just happened at 720 but they're starting to push it up and closing it you can see that they're still following that overall downtrend that actually is uh was on a little bit of higher time frame so guys if gu if gu starts to find good support here this could act as a neckline and follow this pathway for the overall potential opportunity for buy so this could form a double double bottom all right coming down here could be a neckline 
starting to get a break here, the overall neckline break for the overall continuation. All right, so that would look like this. All right, if not, it could get rejected obviously the same spot and have its continuous reversal here, all right? So let's just watch and see. Sorry for all the lines here, guys, just trying to show you different pathways. Wait and see if this is actually going to follow through. Okay. Okay, guys. So about a minute and 42 seconds left on gold. I'm going to do some resistance at that 200 set an alert just in case we go and chart something else. So you can see the overall break. It didn't break any further, guys, and they're starting to push it back up. So that's why I mentioned to you, if you got that nice little candle drop, all right, I did say start to look at uh, grabbing this, you know what I mean, simply because the reversal can start to happen. As soon as you can see it's starting to test that uh, 9 EMA, all right, that, there you go. Now it's starting to break. Okay, so now the area that it's next started they're going to come is the overall 200, okay? So, guys, remember... If you're in this, you would have had your stop loss at break even because it ran about 10 pips, okay? So if you didn't, that trade would have obviously hit your stop loss. If it didn't hit it there, okay, there you go, over alert. Now it's pretty much hitting your stop, okay? That's why when I say it's quick scalps in and out, goal is 10, 15 pips. That hit, found some support here. Now we're working our way up. And uh, I did mention that as soon as it bounced in here, you want to look at uh, having that continuation Uh possible movement just because it's a lot of uh, buyers accumulating right there okay all right so let's wait and see what's going to happen here in terms of the overall next big move on gold all right so that trade roughly ran maybe about 10 pips if you caught it uh, depending on your spread maybe about eight depending so was it worth it that's what i mean if you're not a, if you don't understand taking uh, partials and stuff like that or even taking trade that's a key indicator and same thing happened yesterday actually uh pretty much sold off ran for about 10 pips and then um like i said it had the reversal and then gold ended up going extremely bullish where a lot of people kept trying to uh, say that it was bearish and and it wasn't gold ran yesterday hard all right so but um you can see now that it's trying to push and it's getting some uh, ranging motion sort of right now, some sideways trading right around that 90 MA. And now you can see it's starting to rise. It's starting to find the support. Okay, so that's nice. And it's starting to walk to the upside here. So, but it's around that 200. <laughs> guys, look at that. Flish flash, okay? If you guys saw that, that's erratic movement. That's why sometimes trading gold, uh, it's best to, if you start to see that, just to leave it alone, okay? So it's uh, it's a tough thing, especially when you're trading gold, because um, it can have erratic movements, especially when there's no news, okay? So let's maybe move this over here. Let's take off this alert. Only areas I'm looking for longs pretty much when it gets up here. Okay. Let it get through all this noise. There's a, it's, um, if you do watch the stream, you don't understand. Every time I say that it comes around the 200 with the moving averages, you're going to get some consolidation, sideways trading movement, and stuff like that. So um, just keep that in mind that it is out there right now. All right. So just watch, be patient, be careful with this. Understand that um, price can have any kind of erratic movement right now. Okay, so let's check out GBPUSD because we have a potential double bottom forming there. Okay, so previous resistance, or sorry, previous support is now acting as previous resistance here. So it's fighting in a heavy overall downtrend. All right. GU is extremely bearish. All right. 
That's just on the 15 minute. Let's check out the hourly. Okay. So even that neckline will be a short term pull because look at all this selling pressure right here on GU. Okay. Look at that candle right there, guys. That's huge. That's a massive candlestick on uh, GBPUSD. So if we are going to do any kind of bottom out here, it's going to need a huge formation candle, a lot of volume to kind of get past and start to push through this overall 90 MA, as well as the um, the overall negating of all this selling pressure that was once there, okay? Guys, what do you want to chart? Would you like to go with uh, US 30 or NASDAQ first? Let me know which one you like to do. Okay, one. Uh, yeah, there's a good time. Uh, in the morning, gold can be really good, honestly. Like, usually we have good moves on gold, but um, you just got to always remember that there's going to have some erratic behavior on it. Um, usually, like yesterday, we caught a nice little break. The same thing happened yesterday. It sold off for about 10, and then it had the reversal, right? So uh, it does happen pretty much all the time in terms of as soon as it gets around the 200. So when I when I say, like, gold can be difficult, it can, but, like, it's it's more when it's in consolidation you know what i mean it's head fake action so the best thing for it to do is actually just to leave it alone all right so i'm just looking right now um okay we have gbp usd here going okay nasdaq dirty 30 <laughs> okay a lot of us 30s here guys Okay, guys, what we'll do is, you know what, we'll, we'll do NASDAQ and we'll trade US 30 similar how we're doing yesterday, okay? I can do that for you. Give me a second here, let me do some charting real quick. Okay, and we'll go over and do NASDAQ for one second here, okay? Okay, look at NASDAQ. Had a massive move right here around 7.30. All right, so let's now get to the daily. So that massive move, as you can see, is just a little bottom wick right here. Okay, it's just a little bit of a bottom wick, probably from the close of that body to the open. That micro movement right there is probably what that big candle was. All right. Look at Nasdaq, guys. Remember how it dipped yesterday and then it picked it right back up? Very bullish. Very, very bullish here. Okay. You can see it's steady uptrend here forming, guys. If this isn't obvious to you, you know what I mean? You got to check it out. Steady uptrend here forming on the daily. Steady. All right. We'll see if we're going to start to get maybe a break for making the overall retracement here. All right. If not, this thing can still go very, very bullish. So on the daily, we're at four hour now. Tighten this up. We'll move that exponential moving average out of the way here. All right.
right? You can still see it's formed that uptrend there. All right. Clear as day on the four hour. Four hour uptrend, okay, NASDAQ. So then we have now hourly. Okay, holding support here. Made a nice little touch. Okay, you can even draw to the bottom of these candles right there. And guys, when you chart doing the top down, you can hold these th this chart for, you know what I mean, quite some time. You don't have to race it. And do I do it every time just to show you guys, but you can see clear as day that if you hold these for like, you know, all day, they do apply. <gasps> Sorry, guys. Give me one second here. Got to deal with my dog. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. All right. So clear as day NASDAQ on the hour. Let's see now from the overall 30 minute. Perfect. Okay, and I use the bottom wicks, guys. Everyone can use their own method, whatever they like to do. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. There's plenty of different ways, all right? Okay, you can see NASDAQ has been finding some nice little support, all these bottom wicks. Okay, key area right there in terms of finding some support, which is demand. All right, then you have a nice little push. Holding on that hourly, this is actually a four hour uptrend, okay? So holding on the four hour uptrend, and now we're starting to walk our way up. This is a trap right here and you have your overall breakout. That's what just happened on NASDAQ, all right? So here's the 740. Uh, we're currently on 740, and we're going to wait and see what's going to happen next. If we want to retest this up here in supply, or if we're going to hold this resistance right here and start to sell, okay? Okay, take a look, showing you guys, starting to go bullish out of demand here, all right. Okay, now let's drop it down to the five. Perfect, that's what I wanted to see. All right, you can see every time it comes into this area, it starts to get some resistance here. Okay, three minutes and 30 seconds on NASDAQ on the five minutes, all right? You can see what that big push has now led to into current five minutes higher, around 10, five, 10 minutes supply, all right, before we're going to make our next big move, potential on NASDAQ around maybe eight o'clock, all right? Okay, if it starts to break here, guys, let's add on our 9 EMA, see how far we are away from it. Okay, so you can see this crossed, RSI broke the 50 line. That's why you're having that ignited candle starting to break through, all right? All right, as soon as it broke here, you can see the moving average has crossed that 200. 
That's why you're getting that push to the upside, okay? Guys, I'm watching gold too. It's pushing and pulling, having, uh, I told you, right around that 200. If you guys didn't believe me, I hope you can see it. It's having some reversal now. I'll go to it right now. Okay, it's getting rejected. Rejected at that 200. Okay, so the same 1791. All right, you can start to see it's still following this pathway. Here's your retest candle for the overall continuation. All right. So it came up here rejected, would have blasted through maybe two, three stop losses, but the overall trade is still continuing bearish here. So if you guys got in there, you know what I mean? That's good. If you got hit on this one, that's fantastic. But you can obviously look, there's a re-entry here. We were charting something else, okay? I got away from it. I didn't like the way gold was trading, but obviously I did the a little bit of a bearish downtrend starting to form. And also remember, we still have that, we do have that neckline pattern here for me, okay? So keep that in mind. That's why you're overall getting that uh, potential sell-off here. All right. Gold is really trying to continue to sell. So for the people who are wondering what, what, what just happened right here, okay, because obviously this would have hit stop, all right, if you held its tight stop loss, right, this is only an example, all right, an example of about five pips, okay, some people, they give it at least 10, 20 pips, I'll be honest with you, from what I have known, what I've talked to other traders and stuff like that, they like a 20, 15 to 20 pip uh, stop loss, this is five, so this is tight, you can see we were maybe off by two, so if we had had a 10 pip stop loss, which maybe would have been at this previous wick right here, looking for a one-to-one -one trade, there's about 10 right there, okay? 10 would be at this previous wick. People ask about stop loss and everything. So if you have an account that can withstand a 10 pip stop loss, maybe do 10, 20 pips, depending on it. You guys can see every, at least in our group anyways, you see whenever we go our trade ideas, it's always 10, 20 pips, depending on your account, all right? So just keep that in mind. Uh, but obviously, we put it at the 200 just to be more safe than sorry than cautious on a stream. All right. So that was only five pips. And uh, you can see that it tried to pierce through there three times and it held resistance. And uh, that's why you're getting that overall continuation of a sell. So that was like a retest for the continuation. So it's interesting what will happen next. Um, it's still trying to bounce in this overall demand area. It's still holding nice support. But if it really starts to hold here, uh, this could be maybe forming a neckline on the five minute for a double bottom. All right. So let's just wait and see here. You know, we'll wait, uh, see how this play forms uh, for potential breakout. Uh, but remember, this could act as a neckline too. Right, we have the 15 minute sell, which would be an M pattern. But uh, if price starts to gain a lot of momentum and starts coming back up here, this could act as a nice little neckline to chart for the break around 1793.4.5 area, looking maybe to go bullish. Right, so let's wait and see what's going to happen on gold. Okay, so the overall right play was there. It's just the stop loss for this was too tight, okay? Um, like I said, 10, 10, 20 pips is the way to go. You know, if it was bullish, guys, it would have came up here, but it didn't. It just started to sink, you know what I mean? Um, and there are some guys who do agree that maybe 10, 20 pips is a good stop loss. Uh, that's what I suggest on the streams. Like I said, I just try to play it as safe as possible. Okay. Okay, so remember we talked about that 15-minute break? So here's that neckline break, guys. It's starting to form, okay? 
So this is why it's nice to find chart patterns um, in terms of higher time frame. And then go to your lower time frame and then lo look for your entries for the overall opportunity. It might take some time to play out, all right? But overall, you could see that that M pattern neckline was, um, it, it played out nice, all right? It played out nice. Okay, so let's drop another five. So you can see clear as day that price is now getting pushed back up and holding in this demand right now, okay? So it made a bounce there and started to break. So it did follow this pathway and it dropped a little further actually. So now if you if you did sell again, if you did scalp and you didn't get hit, move your stop loss to break even, guys. That's like the best thing I could I, I could tell you. All right. Uh Trey, good question. Ten <laughs> are we buying or selling guys the opportunity for buying is up here okay so if you're new to the stream this is the overall area you can see the green area selling was down here 10 15 pips that's uh trade that's why you use smaller lot sizes all right you know what i mean smaller lot sizes will give you a nice opportunity to have a wider stop loss all right so Okay, just checking here, guys. So now you can see that gold is starting to find a little bit of a bottom wick, okay? A lot of buyers are starting to push it back up. We haven't really even charted what's going down here, all right? But you can see clear as day, it started to push. And then it's finding some support right here. Made a nice little buying opportunity. Right there. Okay, now we're getting a nice little push. The overall second wick. All right, so just as fast as it dropped now, you can start to see it's starting to fill. A lot of volume for the buyers starting to create this bottom wick. All right. If you guys are going to hold, just remember, move your stop loss to break even. Okay, that's uh, probably the best thing I could tell you to do. All right. Okay, so let's wait and s let's check out GU for a second here, guys. Okay, so GU is starting to, oh, where the heck did that go here? Remember we talked about this neckline here, if it starts to really hold, we start to now, I'm seeing this. Keeps getting rejected right there. Let's see if it's going to, it's now above that nine. Let's see if we're going to find some support here and starting to walk its way up, all right? Okay, so it's now getting, uh, you can see the top wick is getting pushed back down. It's, uh, that's around 1790, K.1, okay, 1790 area. You can see that's starting to push back up. Now the sellers are still continuing for that overall pressure, looking to go to the downside, all right? So if it starts to sell again, guys, that's the overall opportunity. 1789, all right? Now, guys, remember, this is just showing you your prices like when i put these price flags on here it might be a little different all right it might be a little different even when i trade on my phone like i'm telling you it's different okay so use the general area give it about two point like two three pips in the general area right before making that actual decision okay and the same thing goes with your spreads guys so when you're trading with here so remember when i say about five pips like you guys got to understand that that's just being conservative right when you have a higher stop loss, your spreads are going to come into play with that as well. All right. So keep this in mind, guys. Very important for you to understand that um, one, 
spreads are very important. Two, having proper stop loss is very important. And then three is just being uh, relaxed, is trying to be relaxed as much as possible. All right, so. <laughs> Wasim, buddy. Guys, shout out to Wasim. He went big today. I follow him. I'm going to post it in here. He's in our group. Good job, buddy. Perfect. All right. So now you can see it's starting to find a little bit of that bullish, um, I guess you could say, uh, volume. There's a little bit of buyer starting to come in now. And just remember, we're still in that hourly demand zone. All right. Okay, let's check with GBPUSD and then we'll look at NASDAQ for one second here. There's your neckline guy. Remember we talked about this? There's your neckline right there. If you're wondering what you don't know what a neckline is, it's a continuation pattern. Alright. Let's see if it's gonna follow through. Time frame. We'll set an alarm on here. It's already one. Okay, and we'll set another potential area. So, guys, for all you guys wondering about like how to set up trade ideas and stuff, I'm doing it right now. It's the neckline area. Anywhere in here, guys. Remember, if you want to have wider stop loss, use your wider stop loss. Okay. That's about seven pips if you want to have it even to supply area. That's why you can have a nice opportunity there. If you want to have a nice five pip at the bottom wick, that's what you can do. All right. Let's see if this is trade is going to play out. You can see the 200 exponential would be the overall target. Let's see. Okay, so let's watch GBPUSD. Let's check it out on the 10 minute. You can see it's finding some nice little opportunity here. A lot of bottom wicks, okay? It's starting to bounce right here, looking at making its way up. All right, you can see clear as they look how we had that steady downtrend on GU. Okay, I want to show you something here. Steady downtrend on the 10 minute. All right, now you can see with the change in action, price has started to switch. And potentially forming a nice little uptrend form formation okay so let's just watch and see how it's going to play out this potentially could be a continuation play so let's just watch be patient with this and uh, go from there okay you're looking at maybe about 10 pips okay around 10 pips minus your spreading commission and the stop loss could be about 10 pips could be a one-to-one -one. all right so let's just wait and see here Watch for the retest, guys. We're going to see if it's going to have an overall continuation, all right? Sorry, US 30, I want to see NASDAQ. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, so NASDAQ is perfect. Remember how we charted NASDAQ from the top down? So as soon as it came into this overall short, lower time frame supply, all right, you can see started to sell off here. So if you guys are starting to pick this up, supply is sellers, okay? That's where they're having pending orders. That's where they have previously sold off before. Anytime it's in demand, which is buyers, you can see clear as day that the bottom wicks are starting to have a formation of the bounce, all right? 
So you can even update it based on that. And then we have a four hour uptrend forming. Okay. Look at gold still continuing. Okay. I want to flip that just because I'm watching gold too. I have a couple monitors here, guys. Look at this right here. This is what they want to do. See that wick? They want to have that overall fill. All right. Let's wait and see. Is GU flying, guys? Let's check it out. Remember gold, guys. Remember gold? We have the overall opportunity here. I want to add an alert there. Okay, guys. There's GBP USD. Okay. So remember we talked about this neckline here? Demand area. So you can actually flip. We put this neutral, all right? This was a neutral area first. I didn't know if it was going to break or if it was going to reverse, all right? Um... But as soon as it started to find all these bottom wicks here, right, you can see, I just explained this to you, it had an overall downtrend, okay, and then it had a nice little uptrend starting to form here. And guys, all that was this done was just by charting technicals, that's it. That's it, there's no fundamentals here happening, there's no news, there's nothing here, all right. And this is done on the five minute. It might be different from the way you're used to doing it, but if you chart like this and you learn, you know, I already was in the gold trade, guys. I posted it in the group. I got to sell, right? Now I'm waiting to see the overall move on GU, all right? How did I spot a neckline right here? You see the resistance? Price started to find some support, got rejected there. Now I'm waiting right here. This is the area where I'm looking for the next potential move. Do you see this engulfing candlestick? This is why you guys don't understand how valuable our boot camps is. Guys, when Ron breaks this stuff down, I don't I hope you guys really pay attention, okay? Because this whole move, why I put a neckline there was from this candlestick right here. All right? That's a bullish engulfing candlestick. And look, price op the wick opened up higher than this previous wick, all right? That is why I saw maybe a potential neckline on the five minutes starting to form, all right? Guys, if you're in this trade, move your stop loss to break even, okay? For real, move your stop loss to break even. It's starting to run, all right? It, whether you believe it or not, I personally don't care. If you guys see what's going on here, it speaks for itself. I don't care if you believe me or not. It makes no difference to me whatsoever. I can still sleep at night and be happy. if you, Because I know that a lot of people are benefiting from this type of analysis. All right? So keep in mind, that's a bullish engulfing candlestick breaking through the neckline here. And if you don't believe it, why is this going bullish then? You know what I mean? Look at it. Okay, it just hit the trade. There's your trade right there on GBPUSD. Okay, I uh, is GJ flying too? Like I admitted yesterday, I'm not good at trading GJ guys. Like I'm not, so I don't I don't really trade it too much. And it, you, I could probably do really bad if I do it live, right? But GU, I like it. I understand it. Okay, so now you can see it's starting to break to the upside, guys. And if guys in the actual boot camp, if you guys can see what what we did last night, what Ron explained to you of what an engulfing candlestick is, it's a reversal pattern. We were coming in a downtrend and now we're going switching to an uptrend. So do you see how valuable it is to memorize price? Because as soon as you started to see that engulfing with a neckline, that's your double bottom. All right. So. Guys in the boot camp, I really hope you guys see the value that you're getting in terms of live, all right? I, I hope you do. One second.
Okay. So now you can see there's a lot of top wick here. Remember I mentioned to you, anytime it comes around this 200, you're going to get some resistance. Guys, look to close this trade. Look to run it, whatever you like to do. This is up to you. You've done this, okay? You guys got to understand, don't get greedy, all right? If you get, if you got into the neckline, the thing ran about maybe 19 pips, all right? Maybe ran about 19 pips, all right? So just remember, look at that top whip now, okay? We hit it. Now you're getting the, the secondary move here. So get out if you didn't take it from here if you're not happy with 20 pips guys i don't know what to say 10 15 pips move soft lock to break even take the trade or have a trailing stop is the goal it's on there so you make the decision based on what you want to do all right it's up to you let's check out gold here okay i see something for me on gold let's start charting this here and we'll look at nasdaq in a second So gold did actually, it did not fill this wick, okay? These wicks are starting to close higher than each other, so we got to watch this, all right? There's still an overall downtrend forming here. You can see it, all right? We need this body, if you're in the cells, guys, we need this body to break here, okay? We need it to start breaking these wicks. Guys, we are, we're already planning our, our another boot camp. It's going to be the next level from what we're doing now. What we're doing is just the basics, and we'll have the next big thing kind of planned. We'll let you know, okay? Okay, so look at gold. This is why gold, it can be, uh, it is what it is. Gold, its own thing. Gold's in another level, man. It's on its own world. But when you get it in terms of, nice little breaks this is the stuff you want to trade right here having these breakdowns you know what i mean but this stuff right here this garbage doji like this should not be happening right now like i it could be like i, I don't know i should i say it shouldn't but the only reason why i'm saying that is because it's eight in the morning like there should be some volume on gold but there's nothing right here and I, I think because there's no news i think that's one of the main reasons why this is being like this all right the buyers are getting exhausted you can see they're starting to close below that 9 ema there's no more volume here for the buyer so uh, the sellers are starting to take control but you got to start to break these bottom wicks right here to have the overall continuation of the lower low all right okay I do see the five minute uptrend forming here, okay? So it's interesting. They started to flip it in cells, all right? So if you guys, listen, if you're done here, this was out, you, you should be out, okay? You should be out from this big bottom wick. It's not starting to reverse. Now it's starting to get that five minute uptrend volume, okay? It's, it's being a prick, okay? It's being a prick. So just whether you want to trade gold or not, it's up to you. But you can start to see that you had to sell. It ran about 20, 25 pips. Now it's starting to pick up the volume in terms of the buying power right here, okay? Okay, listen, we'll flip over. We'll see, what, we'll see what gold's going to do here. I want to see this overall next move on gold. All right. Let's check out in terms of RSI here, okay? You can see not above the current 50 point yet, but the next big move will have to be above this 200 exponential moving average, all right? There's no real news happening. This is why we're getting this indecision right here, this erratic change of behavior. Um, just let it play out, guys. Like I said, if you didn't get in from here and you're just watching now and you got to buy, good. But now just... The next big area it has to break 
it has to get above these averages right here this 200 you can see it's getting pushed down from overall previous structure there's a lot of sellers here okay that's why you're getting that selling from the top wick Okay, so we have the overall gold areas, guys, set. Just remember it, 1793.5 is the only where I'm looking for, but it's a break above here. That's what I'm doing. So we're going to move on from gold, guys. I It's not something that I want to be trading live with you guys. Like, we'll come back to it, but uh, when something's having erratic behavior like this, the best thing that you can do is start to walk away from it, okay? Leave it alone. Find something else. There's market has plenty of other opportunities, Okay. Okay, about a minute and 30 seconds left here for NASDAQ. Okay, you can see that it's finding still that uptrend support, which is nice. Okay, very, very nice. So we're going to see now what's going to happen. This is also hovering around that 200 exponential moving average for our next move. Okay, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. All right. Let's follow through with... GBP USD guys is there like do people like oil on here I know we asked that yesterday okay so there's your GU it's still getting held it's still getting held now below the 200 okay some top wicks have not made it to previously break the previous wick so GU guys just remember I mentioned to you keep this in mind all right Let's take a look at oil, guys. Oh, I see a move on oil right now. Oil was a nice move. You can see it's starting to break here. It's starting to break the 90 MA. It's starting to walk to the upside. All right. Clear as day. Nice little uptrend starting to form here. All right. It was forming a flat top bottom, which I'll show you what that is. Sorry about that. All right. This is U.S. oil on the five minute, okay? I haven't done a top down, but that's pretty much the first thing that I saw, okay? So you can see it broke above that 9 EMA before looking to make the potential of the overall next big move, okay? We're going to look at trading NASDAQ as well in US 30. I just wanted to quickly flip here to see what oil was like. I've never I have never done it live, okay? So I'm not about to go crazy ham on it, but when you're trading oil, guys, make sure to understand from what I've heard from people who are consistently trading it, um, same thing, 5, 10 pips, looking for the overall next big move is the best way to trade it, okay? So we'll wait and see what's going to happen on it. Um, I'm not going to stay on it because I know a lot of people, they might not like it. There's a few people, but if it starts to break, guys, you can see it's starting to find some nice buying opportunities there, which is the overall uh, near the low on the five-minute time frame, okay? See the low right there? It's 83, okay? Um, starting to break above now that uh, 9 EMA, okay, but it's closing below the actual flat top. So we're going to see if this is actually going to continue or if it's going to have the selling pressure starting to break the 9, having a continuation, okay? So let's watch and see what's going to happen with oil, actually. It's going to be interesting, I think. Overall top opportunity would be right up here, simply because you can see it's starting to form the overall resistance. Okay, so let's go back to NASDAQ and we'll focus on that. I just wanted to quick over do oil for some of the guys in the group, okay? Okay, two minutes and 40 seconds now, roughly on uh, NASDAQ, all right? See how anywhere it's starting to come in that area, a lot of buyers from that overall four hour uptrend. We're gonna see now what's gonna happen if it's gonna to start to form some resistance here. 
if that's the case, there's a there's a few things that can happen uh, that that I could see. I'm looking on the five minute. We'll look at the 15 minute actually first before we make any kind of calls on this. Okay. All right. So I can see potentially, I'll edit these in a second here. formation of a head and shoulder okay starting to form here if price starts to get rejected at the 200 exponential moving average okay right around here you can see there's a lot of top wick okay if it starts to get rejected in this area right here all right you can see it's closed before kind of made some consolidation move all right Okay, we'll go for gold in one second here. But now you can see it's starting to push to the upside a little bottom wick. If it follows this way, you can see it's going to have a reversal. But it's got to break that hourly higher time frame uptrend. If not, okay, if that doesn't happen, all right, if that doesn't follow through, opportunity could be here. I know it's far away. Look at the bounce, okay? This could be forming almost a double bottom. This could be the neckline right here, okay? Starts to break, then we have our overall bullish, all right? Okay, so let's wait and see here. There's two options that we have. This could be a double bottom neckline break, or we could have the inverse head and shoulder neckline starting to break down here, okay? So let's watch and see. I'm going to mark these. Okay, let's watch and see what's going to happen here, okay? Let's go check out gold because we just got that alert. Okay, remember we talked about the bulls? So that actually ran. That's a massive candle here, guys. We missed that. Holy shit. That was nice. Remember? But I did say to you like probably 20 times, uh, I have a lot of people probably getting annoyed with me. We're in demand. We're in demand. We're in demand. Here's the hourly demand. Green is demand. This, I can't believe we caught the tail end of that. Like, that was the overall buying opportunity you could see right here. So, that's hilarious because it just ran right up in there and the thing actually ran about 10 pips. All right. So, guys, if you're in that, like I said, take that profit. That thing ran nice. Um, that was the tail end of it. So, you can imagine that some kind of reversal is going to start to happen here. Um, if not, guys, it continue. It can still continue all the way up to overall supply before making its next move, all right? Uh, here's your pullback, okay? I didn't think that it was going to go like this. Like, that's a massive candle, guys. Like, that's that's huge. That's huge. And I guarantee it, if we go down and I pull up my RSI, right here, it's going to break the 50 line, all right? Right here, it's going to break the 50 line, okay? If you got in here at 1793.45 because you had a pending order, there is your stop loss, Okay. Remember we talked about 10, 15 pips, all right, 20 pips. Let's look at the RSI right here, right here. Remember I told you as soon as it breaks that 50 line, you're going to have massive movement. It did and had a continuation, all right? Nothing, guys. That was an ignited candle. There's no bottom wick right there. So if you guys, the members, you understand this. When Ron talked about this last night, there's no bottom wick there. That's an ignited candle. There's a shit ton of buyers coming in here. Do you want to know where to blast it off? Right outside the demand. This is where they accumulated everything. That's where they distributed everything. RSI broke the 50. Moving averages are coming very close to touching, okay? So let's just wait and see how this trade is going to play out. If you got in here, if you didn't, guys, it's a, it's it's okay. I went away from gold. You can just watch it play out, and you can maybe learn at doing this on your own, or you can do something, uh, or you can not even like it and do and do something completely different, right? Um, but that was the area up here that I mentioned that that was the only opportunities for buying. So.
Okay. Now, there's a lot of uh, potential for, for sellers to come in here too, okay? Um, four hour supply, okay? So that's that's a heavy supply area for gold, okay? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to watch NASDAQ and we're going to watch some other opportunities, but just keep in mind, okay? Just keep in mind these things don't run forever. They're going to have some pullback before making its overall next move, okay? I did not expect gold to have that kind of a breakout, like at all, okay? That, that that That's a big candle. Do you guys understand how big, right out of demand, that candle alone, that candle is almost 35 pips, all right? Guys, we do a top-down analysis, all right? Top-down analysis. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put that in my title, top-down analysis, trading and education, because I uh, people... I don't think they understand uh, how to get into scalping, right? Maybe that's a better title or something like that for you. Um, but we do go from the daily, okay, four hour, hourly, 30 minute, 15 minute, right down to the five, okay? So remember I did mention to you that gold will reverse, okay? Look at how overextended it is from the actual moving average, okay? So when I told you up here, guys, like take your profit, it's because it's so far away from the averages, and that be that. If you didn't and you ended up taking your profit right there, that's perfect. But now if you're someone who had your stop loss set, just remember it's coming close to your stop. Okay, just keep that in mind. So let's go back and focus on what we were looking at. I'm going to... Okay, let's check out NASDAQ here. Ooh, guys, let's see if this is going to start to form that head and shoulder pattern we talked about. Guys, and just a quick thing, join our free Telegram. All of the trades that we take are put in there. I share member profits. I share everything in that. We're developing an app. We'll be able to have a free section in the app that you can join where we drop, I think it's like one trade notification per day that we're launching. So uh, if you guys want to check that out, follow us. Like I said, it's pretty good free stuff that we drop in there and uh, it just keeps you updated with everything, okay? You guys remember NFPs this Friday? Absolutely. I haven't even got into that yet. Okay, guys, I'm going to take, I'm going to put it back on gold. Actually, let's check out GBPUSD for one second. Okay, so remember we talked about that 200 exponential moving average being acting as support and resistance, and same with the nine. You can see clear as day. It happened with gold too, that it started to push up, getting some wicks, rejection, and closing below these moving averages. That's why you're getting that sell, right? coming back and trying to retest its overall um, uh, nine exponential moving average. So if it holds support here, guys, you can expect for it to continue to walk up. As soon as it starts to break here, you know, you're just going to come right back down to the overall neckline entry, and uh, then that trade will be completely nulled. So that's what I'm saying. Like, the goal is, you know, quick 10, 15, 5, 10, 15 pips, okay? Guys, the... Um, the free telegram, just click the pin message at the top of the chat, okay? The pin message at the top of the chat, um, you know what I mean? That's probably the best way to join from there. There's some scam groups, guys, or if you want to head over to our website, all right? This is TradingView, guys. Yes, absolutely. The only reason why we use TradingView is it's, it's, it's uh, there's a lot of tools that MT4 doesn't have, guys. So I want to show you this. Here's our new calendar, guys. This is our YouTube free, okay? These are our webinars that we have for members only, so you have to access now everything through the website. All right. This is something we're coming soon, guys. So alerts, notifications, you can check it out, okay? This is the free Telegram group here, guys, website at the bottom, all right? 
that's the only real telegram that we have there's some other ones out there we don't take any people's money we don't do anything like that guys we're not doing that so don't get scammed please do not get scammed go right to the website go there okay okay so there you go guys remember what came up must come back down now so that trade remember we were flipped off it okay we can we came back it was already right here and that's why i was like ah, i don't really know it's kind of high area right it's it's definitely in the overall selling pressure you can see that every time it came here this ignited candle came out of nowhere came out of nowhere right so if you go back in the video you can see it was like this but i was just showing people stop losses if they ended up getting in that buy but the overall best idea was obviously holding waiting for the sell opportunity to happen okay Today, the market's choppy. You have push-pull movements like crazy. Goals not having the overall continuation. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm actually going to leave gold right here. Uh, I'm going to take a, about a minute break, okay? I'm going to come back. I just have to go to the washroom, so please don't leave. I will be charting I will be charting uh, pretty much US 30 as well, and then we'll be focusing more on NASDAQ, okay? So look at how dirty gold is right now. I'm going to leave it on there. I'll be back in a minute. And we'll continue. Okay, guys, give me one second. Actually, before I go, there's a good question. Uh, any advice on following random signals from anybody? Uh, guys, my personal opinion is um, I've been part of these groups. Some of them are good. Okay, they provide good analysis. I will not lie right but some of them they're not some of them people just copy other people and pretend to be them right so you really have to do your due diligence really do your due diligence with what you're doing in terms of that kind of stuff okay for real because it will have a huge impact on your account a lot of our members they're from you know scam signal groups that are not really um that they're, they're actually not uh, even real traders you know what i mean they're just copying and pasting so just be very careful do your own due diligence on when you do that kind of stuff just like anything in life you know what i mean so that's just my my opinion on that okay i'll be right back guys two seconds
Hey guys, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, so you can see clear as day. Gold is in that similar area to 1791. It's pushing and pulling. I told you before I'm staying away from it. I have alarms set. So when these alarms go off, I'm going to edit this one. It's kind of close. I'm going to delete it actually. And we'll add one a little bit lower. Okay. These will go off. I'm going to go away from gold. All right. Personally, if you're selling here, you're looking good. Victoria, you're looking good. Guys and sells, you're looking good. 1791, opportunity to continue. All right. But I'm going to leave gold and we're going to focus on, um, we're going to focus on NASDAQ and uh, check out GU still selling off. Okay. Uh, so we'll check that as well. But for right now, let's focus on maybe NASDAQ. All right. Okay, so look, and uh, if you're just watching this, it's so it's okay. This is good. Uh, this is good. Just teaching as well. Okay. This is why higher time frame uptrends are so important for you guys to draw. Okay, so important. All right. So when you go to the four hour, you will see. When you draw this, it's very important. Bottom wick, next wick coming out of demand. Now we're right around this demand area, coming and holding as support on the four hour. Okay. If this starts to break, it can start to fill these bottom wicks. You see how it's starting to form a little bit of bullish momentum still? I'm talking this candle right here. So let me draw this down. Let me draw this up right here. There's not much volume coming in on NASDAQ as of right now. Okay. You can see clear as day. It's coming out of supply. Now this body is starting to close previous little lower, but on the lower time frame you're getting some bullish momentum here. Okay, so look, higher time frame. It's very important for you guys to do this type of top-down analysis if you're going to be trading on a lower time frame. Okay, so let's go back on the five minute. Grab this here for a second. There you go. Oil made a nice little upside price move here. Okay, good. Guys, there you can see all the support that is starting to form here. This is a secondary neckline, right? This is a potential W up here too, which is just on your higher, right? Um, this started to form after we looked at this, okay? So there's oil. We'll check that in one second here. But look, guys, the res it's now the resistance that it was forming here is now turning into a neutral area or support. So I'm going to write this as white, all right? For making its next move so here's your double bottom right here i know we set up here i just don't want to take this off to show you guys potentially what what can happen all right all right so let's check out our u.s oil okay guys so right out of the demand zone okay overall trade hit overall target in terms of the higher time frame or sorry lower um lower time frame and the only reason why you push that over there is you can see that this <laughs> okay it was acting as previous resistance okay sorry guys it's just hovering in and out of there okay so finding support okay this is support this is resistance so if you want me to really kind of show you this Okay, it was currently acting as some resistance. Now it's starting to form some opportunities here. You can see it's coming into a previous rejection area. Let's see if it's going to get some momentum now starting to come here. Okay, there's gold, uh, sorry, there's oil. just tapped okay so you can see clear as day moving average close 
It's hitting that right now, all right? Is there a lot of, is there a lot of um, oil traders on here? Because that trade, it, it ran nice. And you can see the flat top bottom with the bouncing ascending movement. As soon as it crossed above that 90 MA, very nice moves. Guys, I don't even want to look at gold, okay? Gold just dumped. Okay, gold, it dumped, but then it pushed back in there, right? This is why it's indecision right now. This is horrible trading, okay? This, stay away from it, guys. I've been telling you, stay away. It's up to you whether you want to do it or not. All right. That's U.S., that's U.K. oil. Let's check out U.S. oil. There you go. Sorry about that. Okay, 30 seconds here, waiting for that next move here. This one was for Scott. Scott's in our group, uh, English bloke. <laughs> Loves trading oil, guys. Okay. All right, so clear as day. Nice little move. Let's see. So this was acting now. Let me break this down for you, okay? This was acting as some support. Now we're going to see if this is going to act as some resistance here or sorry I totally confused that one up this was acting as some buying right you can see the sellers didn't break through okay so that should be green they're a nice holding support there okay green all the way across now we're gonna see if it's gonna hold for making its overall move all right Here's NASDAQ. <laughs> I'm waiting for NASDAQ, guys. Okay, see how the potential W is up here? This is a short-term pattern that was rejected at previous resistance. Okay, now it's starting to hold, waiting for the overall move. Okay. I think gold really sold off, guys. We'll check that out in a second. I just want to see GBP USD. Okay, so GU, if you look, GU, remember we talked about these um, having some support formed. You can see that it formed support at uh, 36445, right? But also it held above that nine moving average, which is why you get that got that continuation here. Now, again, as previous structure has showed you before, price is starting to sell off on GBP USD, okay? All right, so let's see if gold is starting to have that continuational sell here. I think we got some alerts on it. Wow, crazy, guys. So if you guys look at how this is set up, okay, we didn't, I was telling you to stay away from gold, okay, but I mentioned that this was a key area, 1791.83. 1793 was rejected and started to sell off, okay, but that could have been an opportunity for you again. I'm not going to say that that was us. But the overall selling power was there once it was rejected and started to sell off from that overall push movement here. So remember I told you that gold can be very erratic. This is clear as day showing you why people don't always like trading gold. All right. You get your push. You get that pull movement. All right. But you also have to remember that it does fill bottom wicks. It, it, we did have this circled. We erased it. But it's starting to try to fill this overall bottom wick. It's made two bounces actually you can see right there let's see now if it's starting <laughs> gonna start to push back up maybe make another move all right in terms of selling guys it's not an overall crazy large movement all right it's it's a smaller movement on a lower time frame okay so keep that in mind when you're trading because look at the overall 15 minute time frame okay 15 minute time frame. This is what holds more weight. This is what you really want to be looking for. Okay. You can see that we made a bottom right here. As soon as it came in here once previously, all the buyers took control. Bullish engulfing candlestick pushing to the upside. All right. 
I can see gold reversing too, and uh, you know what I mean, coming back up to that consolidative area at 1791, just because of the way it's trading right now. Okay. You can see the bottom wick, similar closing horizontally. So. Okay, U.S. oil, let's look for NASDAQ. Sorry about that. Okay, so it's starting to fill this previous wick. This formed almost a dragonfly doji, okay? But you can see it hovered right at that 200, and then it held opened up the new candle parallel in this previous zone you can see this is the area that I once um, had green but it was neutral now now you can see it's starting to form some support and that's why you're getting your walk to the upside all right the plan for NAS is the potential W pattern here or the potential head and shoulder pattern which is looking like it's kind of fading away now for the opportunities but we'll wait and see here okay I think it could probably consolidate come up here maybe reverse bounce in before making its overall next move to the upside or to the downside okay it's coming in around nine o'clock it's about 840 all right 840 so um, just remember that you, if you're not in any trades um, 930 is one trade that you don't want to be in 930 is coming right here All right, you can see that's where New York Stock Exchange open is going to be. So we have a decent amount of movement to be able to be made before actual, I suggest, maybe not being in any trades, okay? Okay, let's check out the likes here so we can chart US 30. Okay, guys, 366. I'm not going to chart US 30 until I get 500 likes. Okay, it's just not going to happen. We'll trade something else if we don't want to do that. So, okay, three minutes and it's uh, just under four minutes, all right, for NASDAQ. check out US oil for that we'll check out GBP okay so GU is still holding above that nine okay it's starting to really get close to the overall um, 200 again waiting for the averages to cross okay so if you got in from that overall bullish engulfing you're still good probably you would have taken your TP here guys waiting for the overall next move all right let's wait and see what's gonna happen on GBP USD NASDAQ, it's not dead when, when you start to see it coming into the market open, all right? So I do feel you on that right now. It's a little slower, but keep that in mind. Yeah, we looked at oil, guys. That was one thing I was going to check out right after. So you can see it actually made a high right to that 200, all right? Broke out above here. This was the overall 83. So if you guys were in any kind of buys, I know a lot of people watch oil, okay? You know what I mean? It ran pretty good. Good zone. It even ran higher here. So you can see what it actually ran. All right. Two minutes left. Let's wait and see what's going to happen on oil. And I didn't have any chart on here, guys. I literally just drew a blue line that said that potentially could go there just because of this overall demand zone and then it started to walk its way up making higher highs and higher lows okay so guys gold i think can go bullish like it is forming a little bit of double bottom here so let's just wait and see if we're gonna get that overall continuation
Okay, let's go back on NASDAQ. About a minute and 13 seconds left on NASDAQ. I don't, it's moving pretty slow here. I think a good opportunity would just be to maybe honestly watch US 30 or gold. Um, let's check out what we got here. Okay, about 30 more, 70 more likes, and we'll chart US 30, guys. Shout out to all the people who disliked it. I know where you come from. Actually, your, your own members kind of tell you, <laughs> telling you, so... If you guys dislike this, uh, if you guys dislike the stream, though, for any real reason, you know what I mean? Like, maybe the charting is too difficult for you, you know what I mean? You don't understand this? Just send us a message on Instagram or send us a message and we can start with you. We can kind of explain to you a bit better, okay? All right, so let's take a flip. We'll take maybe a chart. On US 30, let's take a look at it right here. Look at this uptrend, guys. We missed this here. 7.30, it's been constantly running bullish here. Now you can see it's starting to form maybe something here, but got to wait and see, guys. Look at gold, guys. Right back in overall demand. Smaller time frame demand. Wicks open up parallel. That's why you're getting your reversal here. That's why I'm just leaving this. So about four minutes left here. We have a potential starting of a formation here, guys. This could be a double bottom. All right, let's check it on the 10 minutes. Yep. Bottom wick here, guys. 1793, same area for the neckline break. This is the neckline. All right, this is the neckline on gold. All right, this is a neckline on gold, guys. 1793.5. All right, watch. It has to break here. Okay, it has to break this moving averages. They have to break above the 9 EMA. All right. And then the 200. You can see it's starting to get rejected. Look at, see that, guys? That's a signification that there's a lot of buyers in here. All right. Okay, about 2 minutes and 45 seconds left for all the gold diggers in here. Break out of the neckline reversal, you have to wait and see. That's what it is. Okay, about 2 minutes and 25 seconds until we're going to see this current candle close. All right. Check out GBPUSD. Still charting to rise, guys. Okay. So it's still starting to rise. If you were holding GBPUSD from this area right here, overall neckline, it's still rising up to the upside. Okay. It's having a little bit of indecision head fake movement here, but it's still in an overall uptrend. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, guys, about 20, 24 more likes, and I'll do US 30. Let's check out our DXY. All right, check it out. Look at this consolidation around the 200. It's had a push-pull movement around here, 7 to about 7.30. Now you sold off bearish engulfing candlestick with your continuation pattern here. Now you can see a lot of these top wicks starting to form, okay? Getting rejected at the 200, all because of this overall selling pressure right here. Look for the DXY to start to come to this area again. Right, this area right here, to see if we're going to get an overall bigger move for to the downside, or if we're going to start to gain some momentum and start to push back up, all right? Okay, there's your gold, still hovering below that 200, waiting for the overall move, all right? Okay, we'll see how this candle is currently closing on gold. You can see this overall move on the five minute. It's still folding or holding that overall uptrend that we had drawn here, okay? So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Five hundo. All right. All right. Let's get down to US thirty, guys. Look at US thirty, right at the top, consolidated area, right here. Got to do a top down. All right. This is from yesterday have not erased okay so you can see clear as day I just erased everything from US 30 I don't erase my charts all right Guys, for everyone, like, saying gold is a sell, like, how are you How are you so certain? That's what I like to see. That's what I like to know. Because a lot of people said sell yesterday, and it didn't really sell, right? That's why you got to watch price. Okay, this is US 30 on the four hour. All right, you can see it made a high here. If you want to put it at the body, you can. You can see that the bodies of the current candles are closed here. It's now getting rejected at this top wick. All right. Now running. Okay, we'll check out NASDAQ. Don't worry. Okay, you can see it. This is US 30, guys. I'm just slowing it down for you so you can see. All right. We're at on US 30, guys. Okay. So I have a demand roughly from 35,827 to about 35,800. All right. 35,800. Constant parallel channel that's forming here. All right, that's on US 30, on the 30 minute, okay? You can see clear as day, it's a steady uptrend forming. Steady, all right? OK, 
Okay. Perfect. Tightening everything up. Guys, remember the time, okay? 8.54. Five minutes until the new four-hour and hourly candle opens, okay? That's why I'm saying just, just wait. Just wait. You don't always have to be finger trigger, always ready to pull the trigger, all right? Just have some patience, all right? US 30 on the 15 minute, all right? On the 15 minutes. Drop down to the 10. You can see that price is starting to make higher highs and higher lows. All right. See, price consolidated before making the sex move, retested, retested higher, okay, demand, and that's when you're starting to get your buying power, all right? How do I pick those points? Look at the structure that the market is giving you, and you have to have a creative mind to be able to consolidate the bottom wicks, the top wicks, and... Um, yeah, you can see it's consolidated right here, right? Price closed right here, then price closed. So that's why I'm putting my last point for it had its nice bullish momentum. All right. That's why on five minutes too, guys, it's nice to do, uh, make sure you do a 10 minute time frame check before you do anything, okay? That zone, this area from here to here is about 10 pips. From there, from the cell, you're looking at about 5, 25, okay? We'll check out gold, guys, for sure. Just let me see, uh, let me finish this up here, okay? So US 30, guys, we'll wait now. Remember, it's three minutes until the first, or sorry, for the next hourly candle to move and for the next four hour to move, all right? Here's gold. Okay, look, it tried to push up. Again, push back down. Now getting closed out, sorry, the 10 minute. Now it's closing below 200 starting to make a downward movement again, okay? Here's your exponential moving average. I wouldn't be selling just that. I'd wait to see how this candle opens and then see how it closes before making any decision, but that's up to you guys. You guys have to watch, all right? Check NASDAQ. I can check NAS for sure. That's one of the, pair, that's one of the things that uh, we can definitely check. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that insanity. Remember how I told you there's a downtrend forming there?
overall downtrend. Head fake pushed you up, okay? Maybe to eradicate all the stop losses, that could be a stop loss hunt. That's a big FU candle for our members. Now we're closing back right in, waiting to more form maybe the actual apex, all right? So NASDAQ was a dirty head fake, guys. What time was that at? 8.50, 10 minutes before the first or the next four-hour candle opens. Let's check with the 10 minutes on NASDAQ. Dirty move. Look at the 10. Very, It's a lot more clear. Okay. Huge F you. But that candle, if you got in on of it, if you got in it, that thing's almost 15 pips. All right. From body to current top wick. All right. If you guys remember, um, I did say anywhere around this 200. Look at this chop right now, guys. It's it's choppy. It's very choppy. All right. You can see it's ranging right now. You have if you caught that move, like good. But now it's like you can see liquidity grab, big fu candle. Now maybe looking at forming potential cells here, okay? Okay, so this is the this is the new four hour candle open, okay? So let's check gold. Or sorry, Nasdaq, my bad, and then we'll go check all the other pairs. Alright. Commodities indices. This is the new four hour candle opening. You see how it's right at an apex right now? Rate ready to make a next move here, okay? It's opening up indecision, waiting to make its next move, all right? Okay, so let's just let's just summarize and, and go over something here, okay? Usually there is news, okay? Usually you see some orange folder, red folder news, all right? There is nothing here, okay? Anywhere between 8.30 till 4, there's nothing. And if it is, it's New Zealand news, all right? And then we have some New Zealand red folder news at swap session, okay? So this is why you're having this indecision movements in the markets right here. There's no news. I bet you if we check the DXY, you're going to see some consolidative structure here. Okay, it tried to break, right? But look, and now it's still hovering around that 200 area and the 9, okay? Guys, I see a head and shoulder forming here too. If this is going to... I'm just going to tighten this up here, guys. just want the chat, uh, chart over. Let me see this on 10 minutes. Guys, There, this potential is a head and shoulder here, okay? Shoulder, head, shoulder here. That's a continuation pattern for bearish momentum. So let's just wait and see how this is actually going to pull through. Um, but again, whether we recognize these patterns and they follow through, that's a different story, right? Here would be an overall. I'm going to mark this back here for a sec. There you go. Okay, so let's see if this is going to start to break below and hold below this 9 EMA. All right. The neckline for the head and shoulder guys is down here. Okay. If that is true, right, you got to, it's nice to like wait and see how price is going to play out. All right. That's, that's the thing. We still have two minutes left on the first candle of the hourly opening. All right. So let it close, let it do its thing. We'll see how it's going to close. Maybe it's going to make a specific type of candle that we can recognize. We're going to have a continuation or reversal, right? Let's watch now on gold, okay? Here's your neckline. 
Let's see if we're going to get the follow through. You remember, you're entering in at an iffy area right now, okay? 1904. We had the overall sell. Now you had the pop and the drop. You know what I mean? Pop, lock, and drop it, right? So let's see. Here's the neckline coming down here. Where's my man? Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Mist of Hots. I like it, man. I like it. Okay, so let's wait and see now. You see how it's getting some formation holding of that uptrend? This is a neckline forming. Let's watch. Wait and see here. Okay, so let's wait and see if we're going to get some follow through on this. And you can't start uh, hammering out opportunities before they happen, okay? You can't. You got to wait till they get there and then make your decision, all right? Okay. Okay, about four minutes left now. You can see they made a bounce right off that five minute uptrend. So most likely they might come back up and retest this overall 1791 area before making a next move. All right. But that's why you have to watch price. You can see it's sideways trading, guys. Like you can trade in and out of this, but it's not the biggest moves. And the candles are getting smaller and smaller. I wouldn't be personally buying anything right now just because of the time. Okay. You know. It's you got to wait. It's it's horrible trading right now. So if you do, like I said, understand the risk that you're leading into coming into market open. All right. Oh, sorry. Want to get that? Okay. Let's look at the 15 minute, and then we'll drop down. Okay. Key areas right here, guys. You can see. If it drops down, you're looking at 1787, it, it can continue, guys. It can, can really it continue. All right. See, gold keeps changing, and this is the thing with gold. I You see these wicks right here? I would look for maybe potential double bottom if this is going to continue holding this uptrend. That's why you got to watch this 200, okay? It's very important for this EMA, and you can see how they're hovering gold right around this, all right? US 30 is already done, guys. We'll flip over to it in about a few minutes. I just want to watch gold. I, I personally said we're going to stay away from it, but I know there's so many people on here who like gold. All right? Yeah, you can't. There's no, guys, there's no way that you can try to go against the market. That's what I'm saying. Just wait for the potential opportunities to present itself. If they do, great. If they don't, we live to do another day, right? So let's watch. I can't resist gold. You guys are so right. It's like, <laughs> I like it because honestly, um, as, as crazy volatile as it is, it's easy for people to understand $1 is 10 pips. Like, if you guys understand that, I know it's hard for new traders because of the erratic behaviors. Like, you want to stay away from this, but that's why patience is key. But it is easy for people to understand that $1 is 10 pips, all right? Perfect. 
Perfect, guys. Uh, Amy, uh, Ron, what time is the regular timings you start YouTube live per day? All right. Um, Amy, this is, uh, I'm Dave. It's okay, though. You can call me Dan. You can call me whoever you want. doesn't matter. Um, but usually we start our YouTube streams at around 6.30, 7, okay? And then we go um, till about 10, okay? Okay, US 30, guys, it's, it's forming up for something pretty nice here. If this starts to sell, you know what I mean? It's looking like a nice opportunity here. Wait and see, use for top wick here. Remember, you're selling uh, 910, guys. I don't know. I, I'm going to wait, okay? So if you guys are selling here, just understand the risk. It's coming in till you know, about market open. I, I don't. I think I think it's risky. If the trade goes south and you guys get caught because of this, it's I don't want that. Okay, so that's 930. That's the New York Stock Exchange open. All right. Make sure you guys are understanding that uh, you can if you want, but you're still giving you're leaving yourself a lot of not a lot of room for some of the most volatile time in the market. Okay, so. Yeah, guys. I'm gonna post something in the in the free FX group if you want to see what we're doing day by day. I will post this for you. See, we had the right thing for US thirty. It's selling off. Okay, guys, I just sent uh, a picture to the overall uh, FX group. So if you want to see what's on the boot camp, you're good, okay? Uh, guys, if uh, you're not familiar with 930, um, you might want to look up the New York Stock Exchange, okay? And I, I can see there might be quite a few new people um, here, okay? So just make sure you're understanding what that is, okay? Let's check out our oil. Oil had massive rejection, guys. You see how it made a nice little pump to a high? Okay, 84 around 10, and then it sold off here. Okay, so gold is very bullish out of this flat top bottom. Okay, very nice for Scott and stuff like that in the group. You know what I mean? Uh, if you guys bought gold, it's looking nice. Okay, let's check out GBPUSD for one second here. GU actually ran too. Like we weren't focusing on GU, okay, like after pretty much last little bit. But GU, you asked about trends and stuff like that in pairs. You can still see it's making engulfing candlesticks and still trying to fight its way to the upside. Okay. Okay, so there's gold. Guys, at about 9.20, I want to see, I want to ask you what you guys think about um, what we're going to do. So give me one second here, guys. I need to ask my group something here. Members, I'm sending a poll. Okay, in the group chat right now. Please fill it out. Let me know. All right. Gold is, gold is a, I want to say it, but I don't. It's a POS right now. It's nothing. We have 15 minutes to find something else, and then we'll be good to go. Okay.
Okay, so there's US 30. It had a nice little sell. Okay, it, it hit this overall, it retraced from this bullish candlestick right here, engulfing, right? It's a head and shoulder pattern here. I, I can't always tell you guys this, but like you guys can see it for yourself here, okay? It's clear as day, head and shoulder pattern here, okay? That's why you're getting your selling off starting to happen. Let's see if it's going to get a continuation. All right. Ooh, that was horrible. Ignore that shitty drawing. Okay, that's pretty much what it was looking for when I started to look at that potential US 30 sell here. It was that head and shoulder pattern, which is a reversal pattern coming out of a demand zone. If you guys can understand what this candlestick is, all right, make sure you're just uh, checking it out, okay? Mr. Zach Houston. What's his name? Where is he? Zach Haston. Okay. That's okay, Zach. No worries. I guess I have no memberships. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so US 30, guys. See, that's why I didn't like the overall continuation. So I didn't put the chart on there, but that was the overall pattern that you're looking for in terms of rejection, okay? So it's below the 200, but you're giving yourself about 15 minutes now leading into the New York Stock Exchange, okay? So like I said, if you're not familiar with that, some of those volatile times in the market happens at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So just keep that in mind. And I'll write it on here. edit that really quickly just so I put the times for you guys Okay, so that's at 9.30, guys. So 15 minutes would make it at 9.45. If you're new and you're not familiar with 9.30, just sit back and watch. You'll understand it's a very, it's a very huge uh, movement, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind. You want to make sure that if you're trading the, the 9.30, you're using smaller lot sizes, okay? You're using smaller lot sizes, all right? Um, or if you understand it, the erratic behavior... Make sure that you uh, let it settle. Wait till about 9:45. If you check the call yesterday, you know it did have push-pull movements before making a nice little reversal at around 9:45. Okay. So just uh, keep that in mind. All right. It's just an opportunity for you to let you know ahead of time. If if you guys don't want to, it's completely up to you. You know what I mean. Totally respect what you want to do. Just uh, understand that everything is on you. <laughs> okay, just check the group here. Guys, where's everyone from? I see there's around a thousand people here. I don't haven't asked this lately. You know what I mean? I haven't asked this, but where's everyone from on the call? You know what I mean? I want to ask you something after this too, but where's everyone from? Let me know. Let's check out NASDAQ real quick. Look at NASDAQ, guys. Huge rejection. Guys, look at where everyone's from. Brazil, India, Pakistan, Jamaica, Mexico, New Jersey, India... Cameroon, Oklahoma, Panama, Nigeria, South Africa, Montreal. Hey, what's going on, guys? Canadian fellows here. What's going on, eh? <laughs> 
Okay, so US 30 is still selling off, guys. It's that head and shoulders pattern. Let's see if it's going to start to break through this overall zone here, okay? Oh, Nepal, guys. We have Dubai. We have Indonesia. A lot of different people here, guys. That's crazy. Do you see why I mentioned before, like, let's just leave gold alone? I watch it. We analyze it give you guys the key breaks 1789 if it breaks that's down here this pathway if it breaks to the upside 1793 you know what i mean so just keep that uh, you can keep it in mind if you want but this is why i didn't like gold right now it's not uh having the best moves all right so let's just watch all right so us 30 hitting Okay, let's check out NASDAQ. Garbage. Okay, guys, so the real question is, what do you guys want to trade? US 30 or NASDAQ market opened? Okay, I got to take a one-minute break, guys. I got to take a pee break. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere. You, if you guys leave, we'll miss, you'll miss out. Trust me, we'll, uh, we'll have good moves. So take a one-minute break, and uh, let me know what you guys want to trade. I'll be answering from it, and... Uh, We'll trade either US 30 or NASDAQ. Let us know, guys. US 30 or NASDAQ, let us know. We'll be right back. All right. Thank you. Hey guys, what's going on? There we go. Back in action, okay? So I read that, all right? Took buy on gold with 20 lots. Oh my God. Buddy, Whew. let's go. Okay, guys. Um, guys, just one thing I want to say, okay? If you, um, if you guys have a trading channel and you're coming in on here and, you know, dropping some hate and stuff like that, I just want to be honest with you. If you had a trading channel and you asked me to like your channel, and subscribe, I would absolutely do that and support you, okay? This trading community is very important to try to support one another, okay? That's the way I look at it, um, but obviously everyone has their own ways of doing things, but if you guys message us and you want us to like a channel or anything like that, just let us know. I have no issues doing something like that, okay? So, but guys, the US 30 did win, okay? US 30, I was counting it up, we did take a poll, in the membership section, US 30 definitely won by 64%. And a lot of the comments, and a lot of the comments were based on US 30, okay? So keep in mind what I just said. Keep in mind, all right? We have now approaching the 920, it's 924, you can see right here, about one minute till the 925 candle, all right? So let's wait and see here for the next big move. Just remember that when I race that, 9.30 New York scandal, wait for the first candle to settle, okay? Let's update this. Okay. 
Okay, so remember, this is 930 here. All right, you can let it play out. You can let it do its thing. You can see it's coming to a key area right here. The selling pressure from the head and shoulder pattern started to break down. So remember, I had it there, but I, I didn't want it to reverse and bounce. Okay, because it could have. You know what I mean? It could have totally. All right. But now you can see that if the head and shoulder uh, pattern actually plays off, it's because of the actual supply area that we're in. And this is a higher time frame supply. So let's just watch. This is 930 right here. Okay. This section right here. 925 candle just opened up. All right. Just opened up. Let's watch and see how this is going to play out. Check on NASDAQ one time. Look at NASDAQ, guys. Okay, it's starting to break out. Starting to break out of that overall downtrend. Okay, look at this sideways consolidative structure here. Look at the EMA. Just slowly making moves to the upside. But now you can see it's kind of in like a range. All right. So I'm going to erase this so you can see watch NASDAQ big move. We'll watch US 30. All right. You can see how it's finding some support right here. They're trying to break it down. They're going to do this right at the end to try to like get you in. All right, it's called a, a bait candle, head fake, before the overall next move, which is, like I said, 930. So if you guys are in this, like I said, just be very patient or cautious entering in before market open, okay? I have a mini head and shoulder here, but if this comes up here, you can see an overall head and shoulder, all right? Shoulder, head, possibly another shoulder here, okay? Coming in from a shoulder, head and shoulder in this area, all right? My indicators are the nine exponential moving average, and then I have the 200 exponential. I also have this right here, which is RSI forming with a 50 line. All right. Every time it makes moves below the 50, you can see it broke below the 90 MA right here, which is broke below the 50 mark. You can see now it's consolidating, waiting for the next move, which is be 930. All right. So let's wait and see what move we're going to get. All right. It's going to have an erratic movement to the upside, maybe some consolidation for the overall next move, okay? And same with to the downside. You can see it's below 50 currently. I'm going to see if we're going to have a downward movement here, okay? So that's on US 30. RSI is a lagging indicator, okay, relative strength. It's not used for buy and sell signals. It's used for it to see where you're at in the actual market, okay? And you can mark up, that's what I like about the RSI, you can mark it up and stuff like that. You can look for potential patterns playing out, all right? So let's wait and see, guys, about a minute and 45 seconds. Let's uh, let's wait and see who's going to trade 930, okay? I'm going to personally wait 15 minutes. I don't like how it's trading right now, um, but I want to see, guys. What are your guys' thoughts? What are your guys' thoughts? Bullish or bearish on US 30? About a mi almost a minute. Okay. Okay, so I can see one thing that could happen here is we're under a minute now okay it could push right come back in make a double top okay and then could have a reversal starting to come back down okay so let's wait and see what's going to happen on us 30. then that would form possibly an m pattern here which we could see a break overall all right let's wait and see Twenty seconds. Let's watch. Okay. 
We're not going to trade gold right now, guys. We're going to watch this, okay? There you go. Here's the open, okay? It found some support here going bullish, all right? Let's wait and see what's going to happen right here at this wick. Coming into supply. Okay, see how it made that double top here? Price didn't make it all the way up. All right, didn't make it all the way up, but it got rejected similar to where exactly this previous wick was, okay, which is just supply. So we're going to see if price is going to have this some erratic movement, go bullish, or if it's going to have some rejection here and start to fly down, all right? Okay, let's check out NASDAQ for one second here. Okay, you see how it's pushing up and holding out of that supply, starting to flip, going bearish, all right? This pathway right here, see? Now it's starting to sell. Talak, read the description. I don't, buddy, read the description, okay? Go to another channel if you want that. I'm showing you what to do in terms of if price it plays out, okay? If you want signals, go pay for signals. All right, let's check out NASDAQ. We'll get this. Bearish, found some support right at the apex, guys. Remember I told you it's gonna come to this apex, so we're having its next move, all right? Bullish, guys, very bullish on NASDAQ, all right? See how it bounced out, holding supply here, holding demand, pushing to the upside now, okay? Massive move on NASDAQ, guys. Massive move on NASDAQ, all right? Okay, two, about two minutes left here. About two minutes left. Guys, I have taken trades. You can check them in the free FX group. Okay, so let's check out gold here. Let's watch, see what's going to happen. Remember we talked about a head and shoulder pattern on gold. It's closing below this 200 exponential moving average continuously, okay? 1789, keep this in mind, all right? It's really congested right now, guys. Really congested, okay? Okay, let's watch. Starting to close below, there's about a minute left, okay? So let the first candle, so remember, this is 9.30, okay? 9.45, 15 minutes, you're looking at somewhere around here. If you're waiting, look to trade around that time right there, okay? Look at that. Touch there, pathway, sell. So for all of you guys who's saying this doesn't, I don't need to sell you, I can show you this. This is a double top for me here, okay? It's the initial candle, but look, guys, it's starting to sell off. Do you really, are you that lazy that you need someone to tell you when to buy and sell? That is the truth. You're lazy, all right? If you guys see this candle and you got that sell, you're good. It can still reverse to the upside here. Don't get me wrong, because it's almost near this 200, but if you caught that, guys, it's all right, you know?
Okay, here's that 935 candle starting to open. Okay, look, it's starting to find some support. Okay, now it's starting to walk possibly to the upside. Retesting this maybe nine before making its next move. All right. Okay, so your fundamentals on predicting the price movements are chart patterns and candles, then you double check it with indicators. No, that's a good question, man. That's a very good question. All right. Um, the question was, your fundamentals on predicting the price movement are chart patterns and candles. You said it right, candlesticks, that's price action. Okay, price action is what you want to watch. This, this movement right here, remember I told you 930? This is erratic behavior. This is the New York Stock Exchange open. You're not going to be able to really realize, uh, memorize price because it's going to be so much erratic movement. But you can spot potential areas where price has been and then look at the overall movements based on that. Do you see what I'm saying? So just make sure you understand that 9.30, a lot of erratic behavior. Wait till 15 minutes and then you can watch maybe the reversal or the actual pump. All right. Gold's dropping. Let's check out gold here. Okay, let's check out gold. Here's your head and potential shoulder on gold, guys. Remember? It just, it was very delayed. Shoulder, head, extended shoulder. And now you can look for maybe a potential sell-off here, okay? It's really, like erratic right now. Um, there's not, it's really congested in terms of my charting. So I do apologize about that. All right. Okay, so you can see it's erratic behavior, pushing and pulling. Market is still settling, guys. A lot of money is being pumped in right now. New York Stock Exchange still having a lot of erratic behavior. It ran from there, so that's where it hit. You're good, guys. If you got in from up there, you can see that's the pathway. I didn't put it below. It's The reason why is because, look, the 200 there is acting as support. So if you're not in yet and you miss this, don't enter. Don't trade, guys. Just wait. Just wait. You're saying, should you sell? No, just wait until 15 minutes, and then we'll catch the reversal, all right? So let's check out our 15-minute. Okay, you can see, price dropped up there, previous wick. Now it's starting to sell, just starting to break below the 9 on the 15-minute. But if you really see where it is in terms of structure, there's a lot of previous motion here, okay? Buyers, sellers, buyers, sellers, all right? So that's why you're getting this bottom wick in terms of pushing it up. It's acting as support, okay? It's acting as support. Guys, we're going to stick on US 30 for this minute, and then I can check out NASDAQ, but I just want to see how these are going to play out, okay? Ah, you guys, you guys make me switch. Whew. Look at NASDAQ, guys. Massive, massive candle there, okay? NASDAQ was better, all right? So for all the US 30 guys, this is what we're missing on NASDAQ, <laughs> All right, you can see massive, massive candle. All right, massive candle. We missed it. Broke rate. It's breaking through now highs. Okay, this is higher time frame supply. Okay, this is this is 9:30 market open for the people who have no idea. Right, so just keep that in mind. Same rules apply. 15 minutes. Watch what happens to Nasdaq. All right, but let's flip and watch um, US 30. Okay, so when you're asking me why why you at why 9:30, that is that's 9:30. That's because of 9.30. US 30 might take a little bit of motion to be able to, to make its overall move. You can see it's really consolidating around that price before it's making its next move. So NASDAQ was obviously the better buy, okay? But you also got to listen to everyone on the channel. So there's your US 30 sell continuing to the overall 200 MA, all right? So 
so it's just walking its way down. You can see, walking its way down. 35979. Price is hovering almost around that 200. It didn't make it there yet, but it's roughly around this area. 35924. All right. You see, anytime it comes around that 200, it starts to act as support. All right. So now this is the 940. We have the next five minute candle, which will be the 945 candle. Okay. All right. So watch, it's selling off here. Let's see if we can get maybe a potential reversal starting to form. All right. Let's watch and see this now. It all started with this wick right here. That is the key wick. Price didn't make it above there. Selling off, you can see, boom, in supply. Now you have your trade in terms of sell, all right? I'll check gold for sure. I told you guys, all the sellers, you got to watch. Like <laughs> Everyone's saying gold, sell, sell, sell. You have to watch price, all right? This is horrible trading right now. Buying, selling, buying, selling. It's this is why I'm not staying. I'm not on this right now. Okay, I don't even want to watch it. It hurts my head. For real, gold is disgusting today. It's not good to trade. So, shoulder, head, shoulder, top wick option for selling opportunity before 945 was right there okay all right and you can still see it selling off here okay Two minutes left here. This is the 940. Well, we're going to watch 945, see what happens, okay? Price can do a few things right now. It's going to consolidate. You can see it's right around that 200. Okay, about two minutes left. Guys, that trade is running nice. So if you're in that cell, if you caught it from up here, you know what I mean, that top wick, it's you're still looking good. The reason why it sells, guys, it's higher time frame supply, okay? I'm going to repeat this because there's people who maybe not heard it before, all right? Check out gas. We did chart gas, actually, so I don't mind doing that. Uh, U.S. oil, sorry. There's oil right there. That's the original trade that it was, okay? Consolidative structure here moving all right that's oil sorry i'm watching us 30 guys we have people wanting to watch us 30 nasdaqers you know what i mean you you guys can wait we did we've tried to watch nasdaq all the way before and then we're going to focus on us all right look at us 30 guys still selling off here okay right here told you Guys, I, I don't even want to look at gold. I'm seeing this right now. My chart is really horrible. And like I said, I keep saying that. I apologize. But this was the only area down here, 1798. Sorry, 1789. And it did not break below here. It wicked and it pushed back up, right? So for all the sellers, guys, like this is what I'm saying. You got to watch price. Like, you got to watch price. This is horrible trading right now. This is the nice move on gold, okay? But again, price can still erratically switch and go bearish, all right? But to the sellers, guys, you see it. You're done. You're, you're, you're smoked, right? That's why I didn't want to trade gold, all right? If you guys bought gold, congratulations, for real. Like, I didn't even want to look at it. But if you bought it, that's good. Good for you, you know? We now have three seconds for the next current candle to open on US 30 here, okay? You can see it's forming some support. It dipped down. Let's watch.
Okay, so US-30 is still forming potential cells. All right, look at US-30, still continuing. Remember a previous structure, it found support around this area, okay? So if price is going to have to switch and go, there it is, it's starting to. It's going to have to break above this, above this 9, above this 9 EMA, okay? Four minutes. Okay, I'm just going to move this over here so you can see. But it's still looking bearish, guys. It's still looking bearish here. And and the sad thing is, guys, is like when when we have people on here that are selling, you know, buy sell buy sell, and then they're wrong, they end up hitting the like or the dislike, and it, it's tough, man. You know what I mean? Streaming is not the easiest. It's fun, but it's not the easiest because you can't please everyone. That That's the thing, right? And that's why I say just watch price, guys. Join the boot camp. You can see it, all right? All right, you can still see now it's starting to form here, okay? I'm just going to put a chart on here, all right? I'm just going to move this over. So we can look for the overall opportunities next, okay? That's the way it was. I'm going to put a chart on here. I didn't have this on here, okay? So don't go nuts and say, oh, he's trying to claim something he didn't. No, I didn't, okay? I'm just putting it on here to show you that overall sell, what it could have been, okay? In terms of the 930, okay? I did not have this on here. So for people that's going to say something, I didn't, okay? I'm just following this pathway right here. I want to see what the overall move would be next, okay? All right? See how it's starting to form some support? Only area that I'm looking for is if it starts to break above this moving average right here. That's the only area, guys. If not, it's still going to be in cells. Okay? For real, it's still going to be in cells. Your boy, Ni, nee, my man. Okay, see how it's still holding below that 9 exponential? Do you guys see how important this is? How important that exponential moving average is? It may be to be important to you. you. guys might use something else. You guys might be using MACD, RSI, whatever it is. You can see it followed this pathway. Didn't even break above. Okay? Didn't even break above. It would have had to break above this 9 exponential for it to start to flip to 50%. All right? Okay, so it's still selling off here, all right? It's still selling off. Guys, we have people yelling. <laughs> I like that. You guys are yelling in the chat, uh, stay away from gold. I, I think you should be too, personally, okay? Guys, I'm going to stay for another 10 minutes, all right? Stay for another 10 minutes. You can see US-30 is still falling here, all right? US 30 is continuing. Look at US 30 guys having continuation. There you go. It's having continuation sell guys. This is the area now where you can start to look. It's going to retrace here. Okay. It's going to come back up. It's in demand. You can see it's going to start to walk back up. Okay. It's going to, if it breaks here guys, it's the 200 breaking above. All right. 
Keep that in mind. Okay, this is demand. Demand, all right? Okay, remember, bouncing out here. This is the overall pathway, guys, right here. You can see clear as day. It's starting to break above that 200. If it holds here, guys, it's going to be a continuation. All right, this is bouncing in demand. Remember, we talked about 9, 945, 950, 15 minutes after. Now you can watch. If this candle, this candle right here, if it closes engulfing, you can watch price and start to rise, okay? But if it closes below this 9 and starts to sell, you're going to see the sellers start to push it down, all right? Okay, I haven't even looked at GU, actually, so that's a good point that some people are still asking about. Look at GBPUSD, guys, okay? Massive push, okay? Massive. Guys, holy shit. It was... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Last 40 minutes on GU, we're reversing. We didn't even watch this, guys. We didn't even watch this. So if you guys caught any sells on GBPUSD, that's good for you guys. All right? Good for you. There's US 30. Okay, so remember I mentioned to you, it's starting to get held below that 9 EMA. If this starts to push back down again, okay? Keep in mind, it's still in demand, okay? So there's still a lot of volume there. This wick is still below this previous wick. So wait and see how maybe the next one, the next candle opens up. I had hope for maybe a more of a volatile move, but as you can see, it, the sellers are very strong here, okay? All right, so this is the kind of move, yeah, you want to see the volume coming out of demand, okay? The volume coming out of demand. Okay, let's check out NASDAQ now. We got the US 30 sell. I bet you NASDAQ is crazy right now. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Massive. It's going to 16,000, guaranteed. 16,000 reversal. Let's see. Okay. Now this is a very good play. Remember, if you guys remember, we had this four hour uptrend here. So four hour, it was still very bullish. Okay. If you watch the videos again, you can check, okay? We had a four-hour uptrend here. This was the downtrend, came right to the apex, and that's why you had your massive, massive push, okay? Like, I've never seen, I've seen pushes like this on US 30, but not much on NASDAQ, okay? So I wouldn't be selling just yet. I would I would watch, okay? Watch and see how it's going to be uh, pulled back or if it's going to be actually continued. Hey, Zach, you're still on here, buddy. What's going on? I thought you didn't like our stream. My man, Zach. Okay, so back on US 30 now is about 20 seconds left here. Bouncing off from the demand, still getting held down from the overall 9 EMA, all right? So about five more minutes, guys, and uh, I'm going to wrap up the stream. So just keep in mind that uh, I don't even know what's going on gold. Okay, there's US 30 now. You can see it's starting to break. Okay, it's starting to hold above here, but it's got to break this 9. If it gets rejected like it's doing, see, it's starting to sell off here.
Okay, I want to see what's going on with gold. There it is. Look, <laughs> oh, guys. Guys, I'm just going to show you gold again. Look at this. Remember, we talked about gold. Okay, staying away from it. All right, it's this is why you have push, then you have pulls, push and pulls. All right, you can see for yourself, gold is horrible right now. Okay, horrible. And sometimes gold is like this. All right, sometimes gold is like this where you don't get much move out of it. Like before, we get nice little breakouts, different things like that. But when you realize gold is trading like this, there's no point in trading it. You're only going to piss yourself off. Okay, so that's why you just leave, move on, find something else. All right. Okay, so look, here's the US 30, guys. See how it's starting to break above here? If it breaks above with a retest, it's going to be a continuation. It's just because it's bouncing out of demand. This is looking all right here. All right, but we got to get a push. It can't keep closing below this. It's got to push. It's got to push, all right? Yeah, guys, I appreciate you too. You guys, like, really helping... Um, you know, get the word out there and all the supporters and stuff like that. Absolutely. Uh, Igor, hopefully, Igor, bud, hopefully you um, understand that when trading's like this, um, just get out, man. You know what I mean? Gold will, gold will take your lunch money, take your girlfriend, it'll take your boyfriend, whatever it is, and it won't, it won't ever come back. You know what I mean? So that's why I mentioned get out of gold. Look at something else. All right. Okay. Gold will take your ex-wife, my God. You guys kill me. Guys, um, if we were to trade something different tomorrow, okay? Like, I see a lot of people like Euro USD. all right? Gold, I think, will have a nice comeback tomorrow. I do, but what... What pairs do you guys want to see? I'm not going to trade GJ, okay? You guys know that there's good streamers out there who are better than me at trading GJ, so you can follow them. Absolutely. You know who they are, and they are. They're good traders, okay? Way better than me at trading GJ, so I'm not going to trade it. Um, if I were to trade, like, EU or GU, what, what, what would you guys like to see? Don't spam it. Just, like, mark one up, okay? EU or GU. Uh, GU moves pretty nice. We get nice movements, but, uh, you know, just maybe let me know, okay? Okay, remember we talked about a starting to break, that 9, okay? Let's watch for a break. Option right here, guys, remember, okay? Why not GJ? I've just, I, I've never traded it. I don't trade it very often. I don't really trade JPY pairs. I know there's some of the best pairs to trade, guys, but it's just not what I do, you know what I mean? So, okay, look, they pushed it back down now, Okay. Guys, okay, so US 30, like I said, options for potential areas of grab for continuations. 3594. You can see how it's starting to push up. It's got to hold above this nine, okay? It's going to hold a little quick scalp, maybe back up to supply area, okay? 
That's if it starts to hold. Remember this overall trade, the trade numbers, guys. I'm going to get off. Okay. Keep that in mind. It's got to hold and have a nice little push. All right. So, okay, guys. Yeah, I got the notes and stuff like that. We'll definitely, um, we'll definitely be trading in something maybe different tomorrow. Okay. Um, if you guys have any other questions, like I said, we're still hosting our boot camp this week. If you guys want to join, go to the site. We can get you in from the second half. You know what I mean? From today and moving forward. Um, yeah. So if you guys also have any other questions, please send us a message uh, on uh, Instagram or send us an email, guys. Okay. All right. Um, if you guys have also any questions, you can check out our, our website, guys, uh, stocksnevertrading.com. This is our events calendar that we have posted here. If you want to over the times, just click there. This will be updated weekly, okay? And we'll give you an overall outlook, a calendar for what we have trading. You can see this week, guys, it's already laid out, so you can check that out, okay? Make sure to join the platforms, guys, if you want. Uh, we have Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Telegram. This is the only Telegram here, okay? This is the only Telegram that you want to be joining, nothing else, okay? In terms of joining our program if you would like all right you can see right here we have memberships this one's included with a boot camp for free so if you want to join that one you can do that and then in the next quarter we'll be hosting another boot camp okay so check it out guys we go on youtube to pay it forward for everyone you know what i mean just to give back so it's um it's good okay so guys thank you very much for joining all right um, we're going to be doing the same time tomorrow. I might go a little bit early, like 6.30, okay? So let's um, let's have a good rest. Members, we have the webinar today. We also have uh, a few other things uh, in terms of the boot camp tonight. So we'll update you based on that, and uh, good to go, guys, okay? So thank you so much, guys. I appreciate everything. Hopefully you guys learned something that today gold was not the best to trade, so you just walk it out. You just walk it out, okay? Um, and you move on to something else. Okay, so, all right, guys, um, let's resume tomorrow, and hopefully we get some better moves on gold, because I know there's a lot of gold diggers in here, okay? So, God bless all of you. Remember this trade, 35946. Oh, well, let's see if it's going to reject here, guys. Wait, 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 wait. can't leave just yet guys I want to see this you guys are killing me here three five nine four six remember we talked about 15 minute after it's starting to break above this nine okay let's see if it's gonna close above here it's got a close of the pathway holding above three five nine four five okay let's wait and see here overall target if you're taking this remember quick scalps is right here All right. Okay, about a minute left here. Wait for this candle to close. If it's not going to be here now, remember, it might be in a, about 10 o'clock. So 10, this is the 10 a.m. Let the first five-minute candle close, and then you're going to make the decision based on that. But I think that still has a lot of opportunity. You can see it's just about to break that 50 mark. All right. As soon as that breaks, guys, you're going to see a pop. So I will update that based on the group, and then we'll see what's going to happen here for US 30, okay? Give it the first five minutes. See how the next candle is going to open up. It opens up bearish. Don't take the trade. If it holds support here, look for it to walk back up, all right? All right, guys. We're going to see you tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Remember this US 30 trade we have here, all right? Closing above, holding support, walking the way up. If not, it's going to start to sell, all right? Okay, guys, I'll update you. Stay live, stay tuned, and have a great day, all right, guys? Later.
I have no idea why my mic just went on and off there, guys. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> it's like I was talking to myself. I thought it was on. My bad. What I was saying to you is if it starts to break here, like I said, you want to make sure that it holds above the 9. You see how it's starting to getting a lot of selling pressure? Wait until 10, 10, 10, 15, the first 5 minutes or 15 minutes of each open, okay? Keep that in mind, all right? Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. I'm just waiting. I want to see what's going on here, but I'm officially going to end the stream now. You can see it's an indecision area. Wait for about 10 minutes, and then you'll see what the overall move is. So sorry about that, guys. I appreciate you uh, staying on and listening to me being muted, but uh, I'm going to get off now, so we'll be uh, we'll be good, okay? So thank you so much, guys. Thanks for staying on. We'll, uh, we'll see you, okay? Okay, guys. Goodbye. Oh, no. No, don't do it. Don't do it. There's gold, guys. There's that sell on gold. There's the sells on gold, guys. So where's my main man? The Mist of Hots. My man. He called it. There he is. Mist of I Hots. That a boy. You called it. We just it was too early. Too early. But you caught the sell, man. Congratulations, bro. Good job. Good job. For real, that's a huge sell. You were calling it for a while. It's just the right entry didn't present itself. Now it did. All right? So it's still selling off huge, guys. Gold is selling off huge, okay? And US 30s pumping, guys. Come on, let's go. I can't get off the stream. I love YouTube. I love YouTube. I love this. <laughs> guys, okay, it's pumping. So that's your TP area right here. Even if you're in it now, it's still walking up. Make sure to secure some profits, guys. Come on, just tap it and then get out of here. If you guys closed early, don't worry about that. The market presents itself with hundreds of plays a day, okay? So, all right, guys. Starting to get a little bit of wick down here. Watch for the opportunity to come in five minutes. We'll see if it's going to really push or if it's going to start to pull again, okay? I can stay, guys. I got to get some stuff done. I stayed an extra 10 minutes, but you can see that the opportunity was nice coming out of here, okay? I can't leave, guys. I'm addicted, you know what I mean? It's, uh, you guys, <laughs> so... Okay, guys, for real, going to exit now. You can see it's pretty much almost that TP, 3576. It actually made a move before the first 15-minute candle, so look for that to be a concluded trade, okay? So, all right, guys, take it easy. We'll see you tomorrow, and uh, I'll make sure to have my mic not muted so I don't uh, sound like an idiot, okay? All right, guys. Well, there you go, guys. It just hit. There you go. There's that trade right there. Just hit the final thing. Now, get out. Get out of the trade. Who cares if it runs, guys? Who cares? It's in selling pressure. It's in uh, supply. All right? Get out. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Later.